get some tartar. All right, ready for the big bite? Yep. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I love the Martin. Welcome to Barbados. Barbados is a gorgeous island in the Caribbean, but what do you really know about it? Umbrella, Ella, Ella. Well, besides that, today I'm taking you deep into this island nation and trying all the local favorites. Pudding and sauce, fish and cuckoo, and we're even hitting up local hotspots like Chefet and Cuz Cutters. And of course, I had to throw a little Trini food in there too. But enough talking. Let's go to Barbados. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you bright and early, eight in the morning in the beautiful island of Barbados. Today, I'm gonna take you on a culinary journey to see how one of the national dishes of Bim is made. And what is this? Well, it's pudding and sauce. Basically, the entire pork, got some vegetables, some chilies. It's a lot of work to make this dish. We came here yesterday and we started the whole prep. So here, go back to the past and watch how it's prepped. So today we're just doing the prep work for the black pudding and sauce. Now what is black pudding and sauce? Well, black pudding, that's basically like sausage, right? Back in the days, the slaves used blood. Now they have removed that element completely. There's no blood in this. Brenda, what do we have here? Okay, we have the main ingredients for black pudding and sauce. This is for the black pudding and the other ingredients here are for the sauce. This is the put sweet potatoes, the eschalots that flavor the sweet potatoes, herbs, marjoram, thyme, and the ingredients for the sauce which composed mainly of the pickle which gives it the flavor. The pickle is made from cucumber or the marrow which are all related to the gourd family. Then we have the onions, hot peppers, um, limes, and the parsley. And the pickle is made with these and the lime juice and the pepper. And then you put the cooked pork. You cut it up and you put it in, then into the pickle and the pork absorbs the flavor of the pickle, which is the parsley, the hotness here, and these other things. But basically, um, that's what um, it is made up of. Antique grater that we grate the potato on. And uh, usually then the cucumber, you chip it by your hand and the onions. And uh, whoa, that is the pig head. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is the pig head. Straight from Cheapside Market. And I got it from my butcher, Caroline Francis. We met her, right? We did. Mm -hmm. we did, we did. So this is the pig head here. Wow. And they chop it right, right through the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it has the tongue which is in here. Mm -hmm. And this is used in the sauce as well. This is the snout here. And the mouth. Wow. And this is the traditional in pork ingredient for putting a sauce. We'll cook it and we'll use the ears as well. The ears are good. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm an organ guy. That tongue is delicious. <laughs> the brain's still in it? The brain's good yeah. too. This is your brain here. Yeah, because they cut it in half. You literally have half the brain on yeah. each side. Yeah. Wow. And, and then over here you have a stomach? The stomach is here. We call it the maw. M-A-W. The maw. This is on the um, outside. Which will be attached to the other organs. And the this is where the food would have been. And this is the sweetest part of the old time pudding and sauce. So this is the maw. Then we have the pig feet. Again, in the traditional Padna sauce language, you will call them trotters. Trotters? Yeah. You order Padna sauce and you say, I want a trotter. And then that would go along with the other part of the, the pork. But these are the trotters. You just cut them in half that you can see how they look. Oh, so they cut in half. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was more. Okay. Yeah, it's one. Just cut in half. Then the pig is slaughtered. These, the hoop, the trotters come with another covering that you actually have a, like a thick, thick husk. So what you're eating here is not what they walk on. This uh, all taken off. And this now is what we call, <clears throat> you say belly, belly pudding. And one five dollars worth of belly pudding. This is the one with the blood. White, which is the natural sweet potato without anything added, mm -hmm. any color. And Oh, here's another piece of more <laughs> in this one. Oh wow, surprise, yeah, surprise. Yeah. 
and these are the intestines years ago when we used to butcher pigs at home this is before this was done now at our local abattoir under the ministry of health we used to have the bigger intestine this is the one you would stuff with the dark pudding and this one you would do with the natural one what we call it but now this is all we can get from the abattoir so i'll stuff some of this with the dark i'll use some food coloring to just slightly change the color and we'll call that the black pudding and then the other one will be the natural pudding which will have the ingredients i showed you there you add a bit of black pepper clove got it got it yeah we are using pig intestines so what we do i just cut off a small piece for you to see this is the intestines as it would have been in the pig you get a knife and you have to because the intestines like all intestines is all connected and there's a very big part that was at the end which is the colon called the tom 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 it used to be big and you will put all the pudding in there and you will get a good set of pudding or sauce from that but these ones the small ones you um just to show that when you eat pudding or sauce with the belly that is clean because like i said this is the part here you see this kind of this this would have been all up together and they would cut it to make it long okay. so then the this is the inside of the intestine here that would have carried the waste Got it. inside here so to put everyone's mind at ease what you do this is the inside so you take it and you turn it so you do it like this I haven't washed this as yet so it's a bit slippery yeah. So you turn it like this. You wash off this this part here. Got it. This is on the outside. And here now is the inside where the waste would have been. So it means that whenever you put in a sauce, the pudding is on what was on the outside and this is the, the part. The cleaner part, right? Yes. And then you would put this in cornmeal to help bring off some of this and also use cornmeal? Yeah. But when you put it here and you see it fall off, you know it's not clean as yet. But when you wash it with the meal and then just put a bit of soap on it and just wash it off and you put it like that and no matter what you do and it doesn't move, you know your belly is clean to stuff. Okay, Brenda, so we have intestines, we have feet, we have stomach and we have the head. Let me pick this head up. Oh my gosh, yeah. guys, this is so wild. In Barbados, men call pig or pork arno so arno yeah yeah it's arno arno yeah he was butchered yesterday wow and i mean you, you open it up guys yeah, look, you see the brain in up. there yeah see the brain the jaw yeah. everything and the tongue the tongue it's very gory but you know yeah. what this is real life right yeah that's how it always is yes and this is some bristling in there that's really sweet when you put pickle on it and the snout here is sweet to in salt meat <laughs> I Take guess smoke? I guess I just yeah. say delicious. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You open the mouth. Open the mouth, yeah, right? It is. Oh my god, the tongue right there. Mm -hmm. Oh. And this is. Oh my gosh. We eat that as well. Eat that as well. And yeah. Look, and look at this, guys. Yeah. This, this is, is the stomach or maw. This is the maw. Mm -hmm. Another piece here. I actually love this. It's sweet. It's this funny. I'm going to a country in Africa yeah? where they're gonna fill this up with milk, really? and, and then they cook it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The this stomach. This the pickle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The stomach. And okay, so next up, you're gonna salt this, right? Yeah, we're gonna salt that. Salt that? Yeah, this is the intestines. I just cut this, but it's very small intestines, or we call it belly because wow. back in the day, people will order either. Um, just like, like, look at this, guys. It's like straight up intestines. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna stuff this, right? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, we're gonna get here really early tomorrow. Right now, we're just gonna do mainly the prep work. We're gonna salt this, we're gonna do a few things for the sauce. And then tomorrow, 6.30 in the morning, we're going to be right back here. We're going to cook, we're going to eat, and I can't wait. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me wash my hands. <laughs> really quick, really quick. I think I'm going to transfer Arno. Put in here. There's meat in here, the tongue. So we're going to use a bit of salt. Salt it lightly. The head, I'm going to cut off the ears at this point because the airs will cook quickly so we want to cook this way we are cooking the the head tomorrow morning wow 
So the pig can't hear, he can't speak, he doesn't have any ears now. Uh, see, I mean, he was dead. <laughs> he was, he was gone. So I'm going to squeeze this on the inside. Look at that. Amazing. And that helps it basically break down, right? Yeah. And also when you cook it, then it keeps the nice flavor. I tell you, I cannot wait to eat this dish. <laughs> So you're cutting the snout now. Yeah. So you leave everything in there, huh? Yes, but I'll not defile so that tomorrow it'll be easier to get this in the saucepan to cook. And what do you do with the ears? Anything or just? Yes, the ears will cook with the with the feet. Okay, got it. The pork, yeah. But they cook very quickly. Wow. Well. Gonna turn it over. Okay. We want to cut it with this now. I will do the other side. This a bit of salt because, like I said, we leave that overnight. And so it's usually like that, like twelve hours overnight, roughly. Roughly, back in the day, maybe still now, some people put a bit of. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Alcohol. Oh, okay, okay. It's really. Throw some rum in there, yeah. like that. Yeah. Where's that mom gay? Agree behind you. And that will sit there. And what I'll do now. So you added the ears back in? Yeah. Chuckers. Remember the tongue is inside. The more has to wash, I'll do that later. So when I wash that, that will also go in lime and salt. It's a lot of salt. Not really. Not really? Because mm -mm. when you bend this cook, you then you, you don't cook it with salt, but then when you plunge it in the water, again um, it absorbs the cold water so it, it won't hold the salt and at this point it's where I put sprinkle on the okay. vinegar and then the vinegar if I'm getting all the little cracks and crevices mm -hmm. and this is also tenderized. I mean, we're, we're liming here. Yeah. I mean, it, it smells like, yeah. like crazy amount of lime. And you see at, at this point some of the salt is being washed off as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, it smells great. It does. Before it was like bland, now yeah. between that lime, that yeah. vinegar, yeah. and a little bit of salt. It's fantastic. Yeah. And maybe get that pepper tomorrow morning. Oh, we're gonna add that pepper tomorrow that morning, guys. Wrong. You know what will happen. Uh. <laughs> this is the hey. pepper for the pickle. It will be spicy. <laughs> and this pepper here, this is the one for the pickle. I'll, I won't use all. But you see these seeds? This, when they cook this tomorrow, I will put some of these. And you know, the seeds are hotter than the, any other part of the pepper. So I'll put some of these within the pot when I'm cooking this pork but this this one is the part I cut off from my signature off the top yeah right, so which one do I try now <laughs> you go <laughs> what about one of these yeah it's all hot no, I mean oh my god <coughs> yeah oh my god it's like a weary weary pepper it's all hot. some crazy stuff right here mm. like a small bite like cayenne chili a small bite a small bite It's hot, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Thankfully, I didn't bite too much. It's hot. Oof. We have some pork flop that I put here later. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, uh, this, brutal. So this, I have some pork flop, which I'll name my salt later. But this is the all-time pork ingredient that was used in black pudding and sauce. So this is the way they used to do it hundreds of years ago. This is the exact way, because yeah. now they're adding lean, yeah. which is like pieces of meat, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. So usually, you know, back in the day, the slaves, what happened is mm -hmm. that, you know, the, the people, the plantation owners, they would eat all the good meat, and then they would just give head, organs, feet, mm -hmm. this stuff, even and the slaves, the blood, and yeah. even the blood, and yeah. the slaves would then, you know, use those ingredients to make their own dishes, which are fantastic, yeah. they're delicious. Yeah. I've tried a bunch of stuff like in Southern mm -hmm. uh, United States. Yes. Really good stuff. This is washed, they have to wash this, then this goes in there, and that, this is what would have been added to the old time pudding and so. The stomach. Yeah, the stomach, also known as the maw. The maw. Mm -hmm. But you have to wash that. Okay, this is how we start the pickle with cucumber. This is the perfect cucumber because you see it doesn't have a lot of hard seeds and this makes a very good crispy pickle. But I'll chip this one today and we'll do the onion. Then tomorrow we'll add the pickle. So here we go. Oh, it's okay. Beautiful like that, huh? Mm -hmm. So when you're eating the pickle tomorrow, all this is between the 
pork. Got it. And it has that nice crunchy texture. And basically this is how we go and we do the, the onion. Same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen it done like this. To the two like main ingredients, I guess. Yes. Right. Yeah. And the outstanding one that part is the lime. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And we go on and on and right down to the end. Good? Pepper? You just got so quick. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> So on and so on, right? <laughs> so sauce is basically like a, like a refreshing salad, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because we actually use this and put it beside um, food and especially cocoa. So this parsley is washed. It smells great. And then it's in the fridge that like, it will get a bit crispy. So I'll just put a bit here and make this quick pickle. See my fingers. It's fine. I'm ready to eat. It smells great. It does. I mean, there's nothing like parsley. Mm -hmm. yeah. Parsley is in one of my favorite salads. Tabbouleh. Mm -hmm. Tabbouleh, Middle Eastern. Mm -hmm. So in terms of time, we just put that in there. And then a bit of salt. Whoa. Okay, so she's mixing everything together now. And of course, we have normally have more cucumber in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one looks more. Mm -hmm. But the dominant rich. color now is the red and green, and then the white. It smells great. Oh. All right, guys. So she's just making me a sample because tomorrow she's gonna do like every single one, right? She's gonna make a big batch for us. Right now, it's a little bit. Okay. So this is pickle. For the sauce. For the sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna try this, huh? Sampler. Yeah. Saying it's really hot, right? This is more. Hold on, look, Nurse. That one's more? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take more. Yeah, you're all good. <laughs> you don't want. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Let's see. Come on, David. Let me go. Okay. Ready? Let's do it. Mmm. This is very similar to tabbouleh. Mm hmm. Okay. Mmm. It was spicy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So good. I love the lime juice. Mm hmm. Can we continue with the tomato? Mm hmm. Not tomato, onion. onion. No, <laughs> I, just, I just brought spice. <laughs> Cucumber. Whoa. Onion. <laughs> it's amazing. Refreshing, spicy. Refreshing. It's a bit. Of it's a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Refreshing and crispy. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, so at the end. <laughs> you have to drink juice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super healthy. If you really want to drink juice, no. I think she's laughing because I'm, I'm burning. Because it's hot. It's hot. Oh my gosh. This is sour food. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, mm -hmm. If you weren't blind and taste it, you just kept chipping pepper. Oh my god. Yeah, but remember when it's sitting in pepper tomorrow, it's going to be coming But it won't out. be this much pepper tomorrow. Oh. No? I don't know, you tell me. You want this spicy? You tell yeah, me. Yeah, you do? Yeah, okay. I don't know. Well, usually, I usually remember, usually have some that you can add. Uh, it'll, be more, it'll be more cucumber, uh -huh. more, more cucumber, parsley, yeah. so it will yeah. even out the pepper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can have this like as a snack, a big salad like that. It's very nice. Ooh, spicy. Yeah. So what's that? Potato? This is sweet potato. Sweet potato is my favorite root vegetable, but... I don't know, I love that breadfruit. It's just. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have to remember the breadfruit as well. Mm -hmm. I think the breadfruit is a fruit, it's not a root. Mm. And here in Barbados, we call the yellow meat breadfruit. When we cut it inside, it will be yellow, and it's a really sweet breadfruit. That as well absorbs the pickle, because I when they do the breadfruit, I usually put pickle on that as well, that it will be flavorful and just not dry. But we'll see that tomorrow morning. So we'll just wash this off. So we start here. 
Mm-hmm. It's coming through. Mm-hmm. Done with that one, right? Mm-hmm. Basically done. To the edge. Next up, we're grinding the potatoes, the shallots, which is green onions, and uh, margarine and thyme? Yes. Okay. okay. Ready. And that's the machine, huh? Yes. So you're gonna put it in and Oh wow, it's hard. Look at that, look at that. It's not so much in the end, right? Oh, I like this. So we're mixing the chives and the potatoes at the same time. Wow. Then it needs water, right? Yeah, it's like stuck. Oh my God. Is it stuck? Oh, it's... There we go. Oh. <laughs> it's going, it's going. That was tough. That was a hard potato. <laughs> okay. How many potatoes was that? 20? 10, 10 pounds. Ten, 10 pounds. Oh my god, look, it's popping out. Do I try it? Do I try a little? You know? Oh my god. Oh. So stir it, right? Mix it in. Oh, walk wow, to the bottom is the first thing you put it in, right? Gotta mix it all in there. Oh, look at that. Super green. It's a lot of work for this. What's crazy is that back in the day, they used to do this by hand. Before they invented this machine. Can I try a tiny bit? Mmm, the herbs. Yeah. Wow. So it's thyme and, and margarine? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then shallots, yeah, yeah. Whoa, it's gonna be good. So this is going with what? Belly. With the belly. Okay, okay. So it's going with the belly. So I'm confused. There's so many things going on here, right? <laughs> the good thing is that it's gonna sit. It's gonna sit for one day or at least 12 hours, right? Because tomorrow we're we'll back here at like 6.30 in the morning to finish the rest of the process. And then by 9, 9.30 we're eating. So you put in black pepper, generous amount. That was very generous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> put in other pepper, a bit of salt, mm -hmm. and a bit of sugar because potatoes, they have different textures and some have more a bit more are uh, sweeter a bit more sweeter than the others so just put in a bit of sugar stir it up mm -hmm. it smells really good it's a pity you can't record the smell it smells really good it smells that good right? see and and a good pudding, oh my gosh a good pudding is when you season the wow. potato because the potato is kind of bland and this will normally have water right 
So this is what we're replacing the Deep blood with. Again. I want you to make the black put in that sauce. Yeah, it's like a very thick syrup style. Um, browning. Browning. Color, color browning, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you buy it and it's black, but I don't like to see it black because as we know, blood is kind of crimson, so it's never that black. Mm -hmm. But just ahead of tomorrow, um, you can see the color beginning to change already. And when it wants to put in the water tomorrow, then I'll have to add a bit more of it. But you can see the, you don't then see all the green herbs because it goes a bit darker. Oh. And it, it can be darker because like I said, we have yeah. to add water tomorrow. Well, this is just a, um, can yeah, I can probably even try to make Yeah, we're just showing you guys what it would look like. And you're making it dark, huh? Yeah. Trying your best, right? Yeah. Guys, this is the comparison. This is what it looks like with the coloring. And it will have more tomorrow. And that's... Compared to... You see the water? Mm-hmm. Yep, it's perfect. But tomorrow you have some more because we will have in there. So this is done. We're going to let it sit overnight. And is that it for today? For the pudding. For the pudding. We'll just um, we'll do the pickles quickly, but again, like this, we won't put any water tonight. We we'll just let it sit, kind of dry overnight. Next up, we're gonna grind the pickles for the sauce, right? So we got parsley, we have onion, we have cucumber, and uh, and peppers, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good. That's it. I'm quick, huh? <coughs> Everybody's coughing. Let's see. <laughs> that's hot. Dude, that's hot. That's intense. Everybody's like coughing of a storm. Starts to pick up. So this part starts to pick up. Okay, so you add some of that there. Whoa. Next up, we got the parsley. That smells good. So that smells amazing. Yes. Parsley, everything. Maybe put, maybe do the cucumber. All this in the fridge would make the cucumber crispy. Oh, nice. Maybe water and then the flavors there. Uh, Christmas color. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's spicy water. I bet you a hundred dollars to try that. <laughs> Got you on cover. <laughs> yeah, right. This thing will like clean your system forever. Oh, forever now. So yeah, this is the onion for the mm -hmm. pickle. And this also adds to the flavor. This going to be a brutal one too. Yeah? Just because it's right. onion. Yeah. That's quick. Just so you guys understand, this is what we had earlier. We had a small portion that she did by hand. This is on a mass scale, right? Right, so this is the cucumber, the main ingredient of the pickle. Here we go. All right, so everything's going into this big batch. Mm -hmm, yeah. Except the parsley, because the parsley would get uh, brown by the morning, right? Yeah. Spicy, spicy. Just added some of that diced chili, diced pepper. Mm -hmm. You say pepper or chili? Pepper. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in Trinidad they go pepper. Pepper. Mm -hmm. Pepper. Because the R's are not exist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here, yeah, but we usually t taste the water to see if overnight you want to put more pepper 
that it would have more pepper to infuse overnight and tomorrow the whole thing would have the flavor so you want to taste it to see if it needs more pepper so i'm going to taste it Sorry. with a little bit of spice it doesn't have some. Mm. You can mm. pepper. i purposely grabbed a little bit you want more no it's good it's good it's, so you know what happened it's nice it's time. crunchy mm -hmm. It's very nice. Keep it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow we put then the lime juice and the salt. That's salt the and parsley. the parsley. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So when we cook the pork, you put it to sit and then you put the pickle over it. So that's the prep work for black pudding and sauce. All right, so back to the future and here we are with Brenda. Brenda. This is Craig's mom. Hi, morning. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready for our Belgian black pudding and sauce with yellow meat breadfruit. I'm excited. <laughs> I am too. This is going to be so good. They eat this yeah. for breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter what time of day. Correct. It is amazing. In Barbados Saturday, black pudding and sauce. No, they call it sauce. Sauce. Yes. Okay, let's go inside. <laughs> let's go, Brenda. Let's go. My auntie right here. Welcome to Brenda's kitchen in beautiful Barbados. <laughs> Shoes off. You good, buddy? Gendered my childhood home. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? I'm very good. I'm yeah. <laughs> okay, so we did a lot yesterday, as you saw, and I'm excited. This is gonna be amazing. Look at this. Wow, looks so different, right? Mm -hmm. Smells good. You got the meat breadfruit. Oh, that's the breadfruit. So you cut up the breadfruit already, and then over here we have the entire pork, right? The head, the feet, uh, tongue, ears, everything. Mm -hmm. And we cook that with the herbs, thyme, marjoram, and some hot peppers. So when we cook this pork, then we'll take the water, which will be hot, and you add it to the potato. It will start the cooking process and also give it the flavor from these and hard spice and hard cloves. Perfect. And bay leaf. Bay leaf, I, of course. Yeah, we cook the pork with this to give it flavor. This is the belly intestines that we cleaned, and I want to emphasize again that what is on the outside now is what was inside, where the waste was. So when the pudding goes in here, yeah, when the pudding goes in there, the it's going on the outside. Oh, exactly. look at that! Look at that! Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it opened up like that, huh? Yeah. And then we clean it again. Because mm -hmm, this is clean. And the test, I saw my mother who slashed. So you have to clean it well, right? And you put it on your hand. You put it on your hand. And once it stays like that, it means it's clean. It would be sliding off if it wasn't clean. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. That's intestines. That's how we're going to make the pudding, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the best way to start off your day here in BIM, coconut water, right? <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. Oh, nothing like it, man. I tell you, refreshing. Oh. Good start to do weekend. Hey, we're in the tropics, right? Wow. Okay, let's continue. And right here, we're cleaning the pork, right? Yes. So that's the meat that we wouldn't have had during the Correct. time of slavery, right? Oh. Because that's what the plantation owners would eat. Yeah. And this is the mall. The mall, so right there is a the stomach, yeah. guys. Yeah. Let's clean that. Mm hmm. Face. And you go in here. I'll tell you, I can't wait to eat the mall. <laughs> so you're going to layer it inside the pressure cooker, right? Is there a specific way to do this? Like, put this meat, put that stomach, put this feet? I mean, the, or. The, the ones that would cook quickly. You usually put together. Okay. And oh, then you got cinnamon next? Yeah. So it's got some cinnamon sticks and it makes it a little sweet. Can't wait for that. And next it's got chilies. Yeah. The, the seeds are usually hotter than the... Of course. Uh, yeah, so we uh, put in one. <laughs> oh, for more, for more. Two. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Because we had people, black pepper in the potato ready to let that marinate during the night. Okay, now we got some salt. Uh -huh, and then we put in some bay leaves. Oh, wow. These are from my fabulous neighbor, Jamal Ali. <laughs> right there, look at that. It's layers. I like that because the bottom layer, you got that cinnamon, those cloves, 
and the bay leaves. It's going to give it a nice, like, herbal plus a little sweet, right? Correct. I'm really again. Another layer of the same thing, right? And that's why when you put this water to the pudding, you see no ready flavor. Yeah, yeah, Correct. Yeah. So it's going to have a lot yeah, of flavor. Yeah. No more pepper. <laughs> no more pepper, please. <laughs> I don't want to be in the bathroom all day. Because <laughs> these will cook quickly. Oh, wow. It's like right now they look rubbery, like a tire. Yes. Right? And there's a lot of crystal in it. And then more cloves. Yeah. And cinnamon sticks. I love that you guys use a lot of cinnamon in your cuisine. Because yeah, it really, it's really nice. Life, you live on the edge. Yeah. So let's call this the edge. <laughs> Brenda, you're too much, you're too much, you're too much. Add normal, normal water. Twine cord is integral. You use this, you'll see when we're tying the belly. Mm -hmm. And we also use this when we're putting the fresh herbs so that the sticks won't get away and the, the flavor is all up together. Well, so you tie all the fresh herbs together? Yeah, because if not, then it'll be like all over the place, right? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Stuff like this. Mm. So we're gonna put that there. Same thing. This is that's the thing. Mm -hmm. This is the marjoram. The time is so. And if you cannot the fragrance, right? The smell, but when this starts to cook, it's gonna smell really good, and then the water, like I said, will complement the. I mean, between the that water, and the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Put that there. Then we add some water and bring mm. on to cook. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we pour in some water. And then we put it on to cook. That's it? Mm -hmm. Right here we have the head of the pig, that little swine. Oof, break that jaw. <laughs> so we layer the head, which is now into some pieces. And we put the bone part down so that the skin will not stick to the pressure cooker. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So this is just the entire head. Yeah. She just cut it up right now. I'm gonna put a trotter between here and probably another one here to level this off. Some salt. Mm -hmm. Whole claw. Bay leaf, hard spice, and we layer again. Place it down. When this cooks, the bone will shackle out, or you just pull them out. Got it. There's a bit of the brain. I won't cook this, but there's a bit of the brain there. Oh, so you won't cook the brain? Mm -mm. And then and you just level it off with the trotters. Yeah, trotters. Yeah and fresh pepper seeds which are very hot living on the edge huh yeah and we put that there put this here no more cloves Whole clove. cinnamon sticks and then some bay leaves yeah. we're good to go I know, it smells great. So like you see, you can record smell, but Craig agrees it smells really, really good. So we'll put this to cook. Okay. <clears throat> and Lord, the heat wants to start to, to get hot. So that's it for the pork, right? Yes. Once it starts to boil, she's gonna cover it, and then it's gonna start the pressure cooking. Mm -hmm. Roughly 30, 40 minutes. Correct. All right, awesome. Yeah, then you will take it out, put it in cold water, and then boil back the water and put it to the potato, which will start the cooking process to the potato. She's amazing. <laughs> awesome. As you can see, it's starting to boil. Yeah, so we cover it now. We we'll monitor this one from now because the steam is coming through. And adjust the flame accordingly. It's 
slowly, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the one with the tender ears and the what we call lean. So this this has a lot of bone, but this is the one we don't want to shackle out. So. Alright, so now it's boiling, we're gonna cover it, right? Yeah. See it? Yeah, so it's coming through now. She's gonna right. close it. That's so now we wait. This is the water, lime, and bit of salt and lime. And you squeeze it into the water so that when the pork is finished, it's going to be hot and soft. So you put it in this water room temperature bring back the texture to a, a firm and crispy especially the ears so that when you put it in the pickle it's nice and firm and not soft so i let this sit until the pork finish and as soon as we open we put it in here and switch okay temperature from hot to so she lets it sit until the pork finishes once the pork's finished she's going to put it in here right so this is going right. to Basically, bring it back to whole temperature. Okay. And especially the ears and um, the the pork itself, it was bring it down from hot and soft back to a cool firm temperature, so that when you put on the pickle, which is the cucumber, it would not be warm Got to, it. to kill the, the, the pickle um, texture. Perfect. So after around thirty minutes, the first batch is ready, and this is the one with the head, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm, it smells amazing. Mm, it really does. Nice. You see it's off the bone? Oh yeah, literally everything fell off the bone. Good? Mm -hmm. Good? Oh yes. Yeah. So it's basically ready. Yeah. So this one's done. The other one, she added an extra five minutes. Wow, I mean, mm -hmm. the smells, guys, the smells. And your mossy. Oh, that's the stomach right there. Oh, yeah. To get rid of all the herbs, right? Taste spicy. <coughs> That's spicy. It's, you it tastes like it has in sugar. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna taste it. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is what we're gonna water. We're going to season the potato with that. Just cook the pork. So it's basically like a lot of the juices mm -hmm. of the pork, right? Not spicy. No. Mm. More like cinnamon. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's like a nice broth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. So this is. That's ready. Mm -hmm. oh. Get rid of the bay leaves, the cinnamon mm -hmm. sticks, everything to cool, right? Yeah. So this is all ready. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> everything is falling off the bone. Yeah. She's just putting. Um, all the pieces of the pork into yeah. this water, which has salt, lime, uh, what else does it have in here? Um, just salt and lime. Salt and lime, that's it. And then it just breaks it down, and obviously it's cold water. You can actually shed a, a bone right here. Look at that. Oh, that's like the jaw. Yeah. That's the jaw, guys. It's amazing. It like just literally fell apart, and that's mm -hmm. the tongue, a mix of that. More bone right there. Yeah. Do I grab it? It's too hot, yeah. right? It's hot. Oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. I can't touch it. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Just literally falls off, huh? Yeah. It's fantastic. That's a pressure cooker. So you're adding the rest of the juices there? Yeah. 
So next up, we're gonna do the black pudding and sauce. Okay. I'll add more to that, but that's the one I did last night, just to show the difference if we can imagine the well, blood compared to the. Yeah, so we're not using blood. We're using this, which is called browning, right? We showed you that yesterday. That's what we use as a replacement for blood, right? So this is how it's gonna look, right? So now she's gonna add a bunch of browning to this. No, I'll take out some of this. Okay. I'll add to that that we, maybe that might be even enough for one strand. Oh yeah? Yeah, but okay. we'll see. I'll probably put a bit more. So all those pork juices mixed with the potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Craig was a chef. <laughs> Cooking with cream. Craig will tell you. Okay. Yeah, I can give you a bit of liquid because this will tell you what it needs or if it doesn't need anything. That's good. Mm hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. It really tastes the pork right there. Yeah. Wow. We taste everything. So it makes us things, and right? Oh, the, the, the pepper? It's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. We don't need any more. I don't think so. And it will be too hot with pepper, right? Yeah, we don't need any more. And then the pickle then has its own pepper as well. Got it. I would have more, but you know what? I'm going to wait for the main event. <laughs> right there. Some of that browning, right? And now you're going to add a bunch of this into it, right? Yeah. Okay. Just to get the color. Mm-hmm. That's good, huh? Look at that mix. I'm going to move my some more rounding. Mm -hmm. Nice. So mix that together. Guys, the smell is ridiculous. I mean, it's so potent. The mix of cinnamon, cloves. Yeah. It's so good. And the herbs. The herbs too, yeah, yeah. I mean, you feel it. You feel the entire thing. Like, flavor sensation here. So right here, we're making the modern pudding, right? Yes. Just gonna bake it. You call this steam pudding. And this would have come about when older generation ran out of belly. Mm -hmm. So then you don't throw away anything. You just then used to put this on the stove and stir it and cook it. So you're going to bake this. And you it's going to be, it yeah, today cause I guess, almost like a cake, like in terms of texture. Yes. And because it's potato, be a bit um, not as smooth as a cake. So we're going to put this on. No, so you're going to put some wrap? Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Lock it up. And then let's go into the oven, right? You want me to open it for you? Yes. put it to the bottom that will be quick. I took out a strand of belly. Uh. They cut them short so that they would cook quickly. Okay. And you tie it at one end. So you tie the end. Mm -hmm. Tie it up. Feels like you need a third hand in there, right? I usually do it. I use the custom dinner when you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know how you would oh, knot it up. Okay, you got it, you got it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. It's like a double knot, huh? Yeah, to make sure sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it just burst right out. Loose, yeah. Oh, that'll be horrible. The funnel, mm -hmm. it fits, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect, look at that. Maybe one first. Oh, so you're doing that one first? Mm -hmm. Since the cup is in here. Okay. Oh wow, look at that intestine. Oh, dude, you don't even know how much I love them. Really? Yeah, I mean, like blood sauce is one of my favorite things. I don't know why people don't like it. Me neither. Oh, look at this, bro, look at this. Oh, amazing. This is the one with no uh, browning. Yeah. yeah. That we call the white pudding, which is natural. This, this reminds me of one of those uh, Bavarian sausages, the white ones. Mm -hmm. But that one has chicken in it. Yeah. It's oh. pure chicken, yeah. Well, chicken and pork, I mean, they do both. The Germans love their yeah. sausages, man. The thing with this is, you know, because this is the outside where you have the mm -hmm. thing that you were cut off, yeah. it hooks up in the pudding. I know this is the outside of the pudding. Yeah. Dude, this is great. And finding this in a restaurant is not easy, right? Impossible. Impossible. So no one does like a traditional Bayesian uh, restaurant here, like a real, real one? 
Uh, mm, it's rare now. A rum shop? No, but I don't think they're gonna be intense like. I hardly. So, Auntie, maybe you and me team up and make our own. <laughs> maybe. But we'll have to we'll have to get a lot of help you help because you can't do this every day. <laughs> My God. I nearly did this for you. <laughs> I know. So you just keep sliding it in, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna stop here because they have to give the potato room to expand. Got it. And how long does it take once you put it into the I the boiling pot? I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I... Look at that, he's just nodded together. I was literally waiting for this the whole day. Couldn't wait for this part, you know? I mean, you hardly see this. I've seen it in, um, in Louisiana, but they use a machine, right? So they keep putting the t intestine, and it keeps going through really fast. Yeah, not like this. This is by hand. This is going to be so good. Auntie, I love you. <laughs> Brenda's the best. So you have to lower the temperature, huh? Yeah. My mom, Carmen, and dad would taught me to do this. You don't put it in the same right away. You just do that to get oh, so the you temperature. And if you could feel this, you feel the belly tightening. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm sure, I'm sure. So it just tightens really quick. Got it. That's great. You guys look, the ends just seal ends, themselves. Ends wow. <laughs> it's amazing. You see? This is uh, the white pudding. Yeah. Um, again, back in the day when we were doing pudding in the belly, the tradition was that if you tall, it would burst. So you see kitchens where pudding and sauce is being done. And now we can't talk because it's going to burst. Go to the kitchen, don't talk. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It's just a tradition, but you can't let the water boil. So next we're doing the black pudding. The black pudding. So first she starts by tying it, mm -hmm. right? A double knot, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Next we got the funnel. And here we go. Make sure any water on the inside is out. It's all out, so she has to remove any excess water from the inside. She tied it, now she's adding the funnel. Yeah, just like that. Oh, that's good. Nice, it slipped in really easily. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. I mean, it looks great. Yeah, you can see the, the, the cut difference in the color. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Scary, it looks like it's gonna rip, right? Mm -hmm. Just gotta make sure it doesn't rip. Yeah. Even though it's black pudding, it's like, it's like white. Well, look at that. So which is going to be tastier? I'm guessing the black one, right? It's going to just have more flavor. It used to be the sweeter one, you <laughs> Wow. Oh, no, no. Now it's like completely black, huh? Yeah. Incredible how it just changed color so fast. Okay, so you lock it up right there. Right. Very nice. Man. There's gonna be an amazing <laughs> breakfast. And then like we said to you, when we put it in the hot water, you'll see the difference with these ends. Remember they lock up? Mm-hmm. So straight over there? Yeah, here we go. Dip. Right there. Mm -hmm. You can feel it tightening. Wow. Let it in and watch the ends. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You see them changing? Mm-hmm. They're just tightening up mm. completely. So now we're going to let it cook, right? So it's going to take a, a little bit, like I say, 15, 20 minutes. She's going to prick it, and then she's going to know if it's cooked or not, right? Yeah. And it seals itself right there. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So each one has this little stick. And what's that for? Just to keep it together? And to stop it from boiling as well. Oh, to stop it from boiling as well? Yeah. Got it. So what are you doing now? This is the what will make the pickle cucumber, pepper, lime juice, and salt. Because when the pork soaks in this, the pork will absorb the flavor, which is mainly from the cucumber juice and the lime and the pepper. Wow. And these limbs don't have seeds, so I don't have to strain it. Parsley. 
and they won't add oil because they don't want it to get that remy ready to serve but this is like the icing <laughs> on the cake so she's gonna mix this and then after she's done mixing we're gonna throw the entire pork into this right correct and then it's gonna sit for 30 minutes and the pork because the pork is an animal that absorbs everything that's in mm -hmm. right it's gonna absorb all that flavor the cucumber juice i mean mm -hmm. it's amazing a little it's bit of nice spice really there good, yeah. oh no it's so good so good wow it's like an amazing salad so you want to taste it of course i want to taste it <laughs> so with this and that's my spoon. You oh, that's your spoon. Sorry, yeah. I didn't you know even see what? it. If, if you taste with my spoon, you will find out my secrets. Oh, you got it, got it. It's gonna have... Oh, it's amazing. It works. Mm. So good. The lemon juice. Mmm. So tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you know what? Did you get pepper in your spoon? I got pepper. <laughs> I did get pepper. It is spicy. It's spicy, but it's good. It? It's not so spicy. Yeah. No. That actually tastes a lot of that lemon juice, you know? So let me take out this now then. But this is, there's no water in here, only the cucumber liquid. So this is pickle. You can see the color, the color of the cucumber. So good. It truly is amazing. And that's how Auntie finishes with a mm -hmm. nice chili on top. Oh, you want me? <laughs> <laughs> that was pickle. So right now she's adding the pickle to the breadfruit. So this pickle has a lot more water, right? A bit more, yeah. Well, it has water. That one doesn't have water too. Yeah, this one doesn't have water, guys. This one. So I usually put um, pickle over the breadfruit so that when you eat it with the panna sauce, it is not dry. That it has the same flavor as well and it's moist and nice. The yellow meat breadfruit. Got it. Add some parsley on top too. Because when you put it to the top, you can't the lime can't get at it to make it dark before you're ready to serve it. And that's it, right? You don't bake this. This is like this. No, that's mm -hmm. Like every true um, Bayesian, she had to add a chili on top of that. Like boom, <laughs> burn it up. <laughs> Water come out of this. Our first one's ready, right? Here we have the black one. So far, only one sausage is ready. The other one still needs some time. And while we do that, we're gonna fill up the pickle with the pork. Sauce. All right, so the final piece of the process, we're gonna get the pork. Okay, so you're gonna, okay. Yeah, and then put it in the pickle. Oh, so you're gonna cut it up. Yes. Got it, got it. So as you can see, it's all cooked. And it's been sitting in this, uh, this water for about an hour plus, right? Yes. Wow, every this piece. This is the one that we call the lean part. The so lean part, mm -hmm. mm, it looks good. It looks like bacon. <laughs> it basically is bacon, just not cooked on the grill, you know? Yeah. Or fried, fried and grilled. They do it multiple ways, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude, I don't even eat bacon anymore. I haven't touched bacon in years. Let me see, that's the stomach right there. Mm -hmm. It's just some excess fat that I leave off at this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now you're going to cut all the meat and then put it in here and then let it soak up with the, yeah. with the pickle. pickle. This is the stomach and this is the one that I'll put over there with the traditional mm -hmm. head. That's like a nice uh, dense layer right there. Yeah. This is just the leaves from the herbs. Okay. And this is the stomach. Wow. Look at that. It's the foot, right? Yeah, this is the foot. Look at that. The skin. So you're taking off your excess like skin and fat? Yeah, or any dark parts or anything like that. Got it, got it. So this, it. yeah, this will go on with the traditional one there. This is the tongue right there. Yeah. That's the face. Yeah. What a process. Yeah. I cut the face in half like that. Mm -hmm. So much good meat in there though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fat. 
A lot of fat. Mm -hmm. So we're removing all that fat, right? Yeah, yeah no point. Mm -mm. Your hand is very fatty. Let's get rid of some of that fat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your tongue has an outer layer, like, you see? Mm -hmm. So that when you eat it again, this is not. This way you pick taking off is what the pig would have been eating with. Yeah. So with the <coughs> the sauce, you still have a layer of protection because this comes off. Mm -hmm. Just like if the, the, the trotters where the hoofs are taken off and when you eat, what you eat is not what the party pig that it was mm -hmm. using. Yeah, it wasn't using So you're the taking the, the, the tunnel from the little protective casing. Good. You're going to cut that up. Cut out all these unnecessaries. Yep. So we're here we're cutting the tongue. Yeah. And the tongue is normally longer, but probably another piece is in the head. Okay. Perfect. So next up we're layering the pickle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're almost done. We're just gonna add the rest of the pickle. And we have to have pickle enough that it covers all the meat, right? So this is actually a mix of pieces of the head with also big pieces of meat, right? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So you're going to go all the way to the top. And feet. And feet. And ears. And ears. Yes, Ooh, yes, yes. it's everything. <laughs> right, so we start, do we timer it now? Yeah, we let it, as the old people say, draw. Meaning mm. just to absorb to the, pour to absorb the flavor of the pickle. And you're adding parsley on top. Juice, yeah. That's amazing. So that's the pickle, which is the pork, cucumber, onion, parsley, hot pepper, lime, salt. So now we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes mm -hmm. and then we'll eat. Mm -hmm. I'm starving, it is 11.30, so at noon we're eating. Brunch. And the second uh, is the pudding is ready. Pudding. The black pudding right there. Number six. Oh, sorry. Craig, we're done. Oh, good. We're done. <laughs> the pudding's done. This is gonna be done soon. The the sausage pudding is almost done. Ah, I'm hungry. We're ready to eat, right? Yes, we are. Finally. We've been waiting all morning. four hours. Four hours it took, well, plus last night, so two, so six hours to prepare all this. Look, it's incredible. So we have the breadfruit, we have the pork with the sauce, right? So the pickle, we also have the pudding, and over here we have pudding that has been baked. All right, let's serve. Black pudding. Black pudding, huh? No, you can use your hand, no problem. Oh my gosh, that's all for me? Yeah. Heaven. Mm. Right here we have the mix of everything. Oh, wow. That's good, bro. Let's go. Enough space, huh? Mm -hmm. and here we got the breadfruit. Extra pickle, for it. Extra pickle huh? It's on yeah, the side. Top it all off, you know. And the pudding, right? Some more pudding. Wow. You know the pudding reminds me of? Stuffing in Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Ah, oh, dude, we've been waiting so long for this. So long. You know what? Yeah, drum roll. God bless this meal. Yes, please, thank you. Yes, sir. Ready? 100%. Where okay. are you starting? I'm uh, right? I'm starting with one of these puddings. White pudding? Yeah, there we go. Mm hmm. Let's just do it. I cannot wait. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're like shaking all your day. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my god. So much flavor. Mm hmm. Oh, dude, so it's just basically like almost like a stuffing inside. Yeah. There's no meat in here, no chicken, no pork, just, just purely potatoes. Oh, and spices. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. No, on the side, the baked one. Oh, it's sweet, too. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon and cloves. Wow. So good. So good. And this is the national dish. Yep. One of. One of. Time for the sauce. <laughs> I'm blown away. All in the lime juice. Oh, the lime juice, parsley. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brenda's the best. Brenda, thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. The bread fruit. Mm -hmm. The bread fruit. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. And it's really absorbed mm -hmm. on that pickle, huh? Yes. Yes. How you doing over there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I gotta have some more of this pudding right here. I like the sweetness to it too. Mm -hmm. You know? Can I help me? Right there. Look at that. Sweet. I think the cool thing is you could just mix like this. You mix everything. everything. I love pickles. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the cherry on top. Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. Not too much? No, no, <laughs> just a little bit. This is I mean, you put the whole thing. That is it's it's just, too much? It's just a garnish. Oh, it's just yeah, a garnish? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. It binds well, though. I'll tell you, the breakfast is amazing. <laughs> I figured you would say that. Mm-hmm. And here we go. Finally getting into the actual pork. So, let's go for it. Got some juice in there. Let's do it, bro. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, I love how it's absorbed everything, huh? Yes. It's incredible. It's like a pork salad. Yeah. Basically. That's what it is, right? Yeah, I guess so. I never considered it. <laughs> never no. thought of it that way, but... Yeah. I mean, but it, it's mixed with salad, right? Mmm. Mm. This is amazing. The baked pudding. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Oh, guys, you have no idea. This is like straight up real comfort food, yes, huh? I can't even talk. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm so happy. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. <laughs> um. And this is Saturday tradition. Every Saturday, my friend. So every Saturday, you guys eat? Every Saturday is a sucks day. Sucks day. You can get it some days in the week too, but traditionally Saturdays. Mm -hmm. All the broth and everywhere. Oh wow. Love it. Love the lime juice. Oh, wow, you have more? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's delicious. The smell, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. <clears throat> mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> what a monstrous plate. I know. <laughs> right? We have to go eat like in two hours. <laughs> mm. Mm. So you see now how it's combined. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. That's yeah, it. and everything has to be eaten together, right? More or less. Yeah, yeah. So you start to mix. Yeah. yeah. Even if you have it separate, it still ends up all together. Mmm, the ear. Yep. Crunchy. It's crunchy. It's delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> this is like phenomenal. You know that I love is this. Mmm. -hmm. Now, just mix, right? Just mix. Just mix. Mix and match, my friend. Mix and match. Wow, well, I gotta be careful with that. Chili. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want. So here, get some breadfruit. Mm. You got a piece of. Got more breadfruit? Nah, that's good. That's good right there, all right? Mm. Right there, I had breadfruit. Pork. Salt. Yeah. Salt. Um, pudding. Bed pudding. All together. Combination. It's amazing. It really is phenomenal. First time? Of course. First time. No, you're Beijing. Now I'm Beijing. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Mm. No, Rihanna will answer your text. Oh my god. No, she will. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're putting it out in the universe, huh? <laughs> I help you out, man. A good wingman. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> you're too much. Thank you so much. Thank She's here, is watching. She's like, you're enjoying it, right? Yes, 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 yes. That's the joy. Let other people enjoy it because mm -hmm. it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah, and you can't take shortcuts. So I like to see people enjoying it. Yeah, but you gave me that chili, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'm feeling I only had like half. Well, I did have half. It's hot. <laughs> the heat of the Caribbean. Yeah. Pepper. <laughs> Spicy, just like they're women. <laughs> ah!
<laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, how, like the process of how pudding and sauce is made. This is one of the national dishes of Barbados, the island of Bim. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So what we got here? So coconut, coconut water, water always. Yeah. Come on, what's Mobby? Mobby is a drink made from like a bark. Got it. And it's it's some, some part of our sugar. tradition. Yeah, so it's a little bitter. Yeah. I go with the coconut water all day. Oh, ice cold, it's perfect. I wanna say a big thanks to my friend over here, Auntie Brenda, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you too. <laughs> she gave us literally two days of her life to create this incredible <laughs> spread. What an experience, thank you. Yeah. And I don't think anybody else has done it like this, right? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If Thanks you did, so thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next one here in Barbados. From Barbados. Beijing. 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 <laughs> I, I love her. I love you. <laughs> my man, cheers, bro. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> cheers. Good afternoon, guys. David Hoffman here from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful, sunny Barbados. Today is Saturday, and on Saturdays, people here eat the national dishes of the country. And right now, we're going to try the national dish, flying fish and cuckoo, here at Oyston's, right? And we're going to stop at Fred's Bar and Restaurant. And then after this, we're going to the only craft brewery on the island. Yo, what are we doing? We're getting some cuckoo and, well, it's not flying fish, it is cuckoo and salt fish. Because it could be interchangeable. Okay. Depending on the um, availability of flying fish, sometimes you get it with red herring, sometimes you get it with salt fish. Some people even put like pork stew and stuff, but traditionally it's flying fish. But you know, salt fish would do just as good. And we're eating this at Fred's Bar and Restaurant, and this is in Oysters. Oysters is the spot to come on Friday nights. We were here last night. It's very loud, lots of music, lots of people, lots of good food. But you know, during the day, we're gonna eat this now here. Right, let's go. A hair nut. Funny, I'm gonna put a hair nut on it and I have no hair, so. It's a first. It's a first for me. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, straight to the back. Let me get in here. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's the cuckoo. Yes. Almost looks like mashed potatoes, but it's made out of cornstarch, right? It mixed with carmine. Cornmeal. Cornmeal at Oakland. Got it. And this is sawfish gravy. Yes, yes. Right there. Beautiful. All right. One with herring too, right? One with sawfish and one with herring. Okay, so one's with saltfish and then one's with herring. Yeah. Great. Look at this, guys. Right there, the cuckoo. Yes. Nice. Nice cuckoo. Soft and nice. Smells good. You know the only thing about cuckoo? It fills you up. <laughs> that is good. You're gonna have to go to sleep after this. You want some sweet potato on it? Of course. Nice sweet potato. And some pickled cucumber. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh huh. It's beautiful. Nice. Red herring here. So this is red herring. Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Love herring. Nice. Can I put some more of this? Potato. Wow, I can't believe how much it's raining right now. Huh? It's raining. Yeah. And that's it, ma'am? She's going to put some prickled cucumber on it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. She's gonna put some pickled cucumber. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much. There you go, bro. Ooh, it's hot. And salt fish. Is that cod? Yeah. Cod, thank you so much. Here you go, bro. 54. Oh, so it's 54 Barbados dollars, so roughly 26 US dollars? Uh -huh. Yeah, 26, 27. 27, exactly. Okay, let me pay her. Like I said, 54, right? So that's uh, exactly 27 US dollars. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, here you go, ma'am. Thank you. That's 57. Uh -huh. All right, let me get your change. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, let's go. I didn't think it was going Really wild, it started raining, but over there it's clearing up, luckily. But this is Barbados, right? Last night it rained all night. Right now it's raining again, and then it'll get hot. The only thing is that humidity will hit us hard, right? The humidity hits hard after this. It's too much, it's too much. Oh, that's for us? No, oh, okay, okay, no problem. So we're waiting for the rain to cool down, and while we wait, we started reading all of these signs, and look at this. I honestly drink to that, but honestly, don't drink to anything. What? This is so confusing. Two beers are not two beers. Oh my God. 
be? To beard. Uh -huh. So, to bear or not to bear? To be honest, the best one is this one. We can forecast 100% bear, 99% rum punch. <laughs> I have mixed drinks about feelings. They're funny, they're really funny here. What do you think? Rain? Still raining. Almost done? Yeah, once you see the blue skies, you're good, right? Like I said, guys, today is National Dish Day, Saturdays, right? And then Sundays is Coconut Day, yeah. from my understanding. Okay, so we have two different, different variations, right? So we have the red herring, and we have the salt fish, which is cod, right? So this is salt fish right here? Yeah. Woo! Salt fish. Look at that, beautiful. It's gonna be good. Okay, so this is it, the main event, right? Uh, salt fish and cuckoo, and red herring and cuckoo. Ooh, yeah. So if there's no flying fish, they'll replace it with those two. Unfortunately, right now, they ran out, but it's all good, the same thing, right? Yes. Similar, similar. Okay, here we go, wow. This is gonna be nice. So it's cornmeal. Cornmeal. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's good. So textured like a, like mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. Mmm, but I like the sauce. And nice gravy. There's okra in the cornmeal as well. Oh, is there okra in here as well? Okay. Mmm, delicious. A little salty. Mmm, a little bit of spices in there. Spice, yeah. Sorry guys, I can barely see. Right? It's fantastic though. Yeah, it is very it. different from mashed potatoes. Yeah, because it's a lot firmer. Mm -hmm. And then with the okra in it, it gives it more flavor as well. Got it, got it. Get some of this pickle. Mm. So much flavor here. I personally love codfish, but obviously flying fish would have been like the, the real traditional way, right? But it's okay guys. Mmm, so good, so tasty. You want to try these smoked herring? Right here is smoked herring, right? Mm -hmm. So very similar to like a sardine in a way. Yeah, it's a herring fish that has been smoked, basically. Smoked on... And it's okay to eat all this? Yeah. All these bones, okay? Yeah, it's fine. It's so thin and it's cooked that it's not going to create an issue. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and smoky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, very easy to stick it down, right? Mm -hmm. I always get nervous with the bones, but that's no. very, very thin. It's thin, it's thin, so it's not gonna create an issue. Mmm. And now my saltfish has disappeared. <laughs> mm hmm. I really love the gravy. Yeah. It's super rich, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mmm. Barbados. Bajan food. Bim. So this pickle is the cucumber and the parsley and the lime and the right, salt. Pretty much same we did. Yeah, pretty much almost the same as this, the one for the sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah guys, you can have this at night as well here, right? Yes. So if you come here Friday night, yeah. you know when everybody's partying, you can come stay right here to Fred's Bar and Restaurant, which is uh, one of the few shops here on this strip, right? So there's an interior, which is like the square, where people do live music. There's the outside, there's the fish market, which we visited the other day as well. And you also have some craft vendors in the very back. But that's usually at night. Right now, it's pretty dead. Most people right now are at the beach, right? Yes, everyone's at the beach day or eating sauce. Eating sauce and then taking a nap. Yes, <laughs> right after sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't want to drink anything now because we have to go to a brewery. Then we're going to try some delicious beers. They were saying that the porter over there is really good, right? Smoke porter is very nice. Oh, I can't wait for smoke porter. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right there's some more fish. Maybe some like cod right there like that. Mm -hmm. I really like this um cuckoo. Cuckoo, yeah. Ooh, it's good. Um, this island has such a vibe. This island invented rum. That's why you literally see rum shops everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, she put like the fish all over. Yeah. It wasn't just here, it was like everywhere. Mm -hmm. Because this sauce, gravy, yeah. mm -hmm. this sauce is the gravy for the fish. So either the smoked herring or the salt fish has a gravy. Mm -hmm. So they put that on top of the cuckoo. And so we mix it in with yeah. everything, right? So everything is nice and moist. Otherwise, you would not have a very moist cuckoo. Mm -hmm. It's completely moist. You know that? It's like lots of gravy in here. And when you mix everything together, yeah, yeah, dude, it's amazing. Wow. You know, the good thing about this moment right now is that the rain just passed, so at least it's a little cool. 
But the humidity is starting up again, right? You can feel it rising. Oh, you, you can feel, feel it rising. The heat rising from the ground. It's insane. Mm -hmm. It wasn't this hot in Trinidad. No. Not this hot. I also went in March, so. Mm. Yeah. Different time. A different time, right? Yeah, uh, January, February, March is usually a little more cooler. Then coming down to like July, August, you have September, October, hot months. Very hot. The humidity is off the charts. Yeah. So if you guys don't, the high season in the Caribbean is like winter. November, Jan uh, November, December, January, February. Like that whole period. That's when everybody comes down from America, right? They come down, the snowbirds, they call them, right? Yeah. From Miami, so all the snowbirds coming down. We love you guys, but stop invading our territory. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. So the only thing I'm missing here is this sweet potato. So you just drown it in the gravy. It's just like this, right? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Super soft. Nice and moist. What's happening? <laughs> Alright. That was amazing. Next up, brewery. Let's go. Yeah, we'll take it home, whatever is left, right? Yeah, sure. Ready? Let's go. All right, let's get in the car. So how far is the, the brewery? Uh, Three minutes. Perfect. Dread hop. Dread hop. Dread hop. Dread hop. Dread hop. So dreads and hops. Yeah. That's it. Dread hop. Oh, this is great. It's been a while since I've been to a brewery, but you know we're in Barbados. Dread hop brewing is the best. Some good beer here. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's try some beers. Greg, how you doing? I'm good, how are you doing? Thank you very much, I'm good, I'm good. So tell me a little bit about Dread Hop Brewing. Okay, well, Dread Hop Brewing, we started back in 2014 is when we first started to bottle our beers. Um, at that time, we were running a much smaller operation and we were just doing bottles, so we didn't have a setup like you see with us today. Um, in 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic, just as it was starting, that's when we launched this particular uh, venue. It wasn't by plan, obviously, but it's just how things kind of worked out. And now we have a tap room, we have a much larger venue, and we're doing a lot more beers. So we actually have 10 beers that we're running at the moment. Um, so how, how can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the only craft brewery in Barbados. It has like a barn style feel like I've seen like Louisiana. They have outside terrace, they have inside. So it's like a, like a beer garden, right? Yeah. And then over here we have the tap area, right? Tap room. Tap room. So you have 10 beers, you guys do flights, half pints, pints. Pitchers, uh, if you brought a growler, we'd give you a price on it. Yeah, okay. Basically, you can also get um, kegs as well, although not as many people in Barbados do that. Yeah, because it's yeah. a big rum culture here, obviously. Very much a big rum culture, and it's a lot hotter. So kegs, you got it. You gotta have some kind of refrigeration set up or you're buying a lot of ice. Awesome. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna try a flight? Sure, if you want. All 10 beers? Uh, yeah, for sure, for Let's you. <laughs> All right, let's do it, let's do it. This is the summer ale. It's a little frothy with us today. This is our pale ale, Silver Sands Pale Ale. You'll notice that a lot of the beers are named after places in Barbados as well. Not quite all of them, but most of them are. And then this is our Hazy IPA, Pelican. Barracuda, which is our dangerous one. This is our 9% double IPA. Dangerous. Long Beach White, which is our Belgium wheat beer. This is Realm Rock IPA. Sam Lord's Porter, which is currently David's favorite because it's the only one he's had. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Mahogany Bay Stout. Oh, nice stout. Yeah, and then last but not least, our Calypso Pilsner. Now, this is the only one we don't bottle, so if you want to try the Pilsner, you have to come and visit us at the top room. Got it. Yeah, I'm loving all the colors here, right? So, it's so many different color profiles. You have like an amber style, right? You have a little more gold, you have one that's very cloudy, that's the double IPA I'm thinking, or over here, right? And you have the stout, the porter, it's beautiful, very nice. So normally, you'll get four in a flight, it costs you the same as a pint. Same as a pint. Yeah. But if you buy two flights, we have all ten bears on top, we'll normally throw in the other two so that you can kind of do the whole thing. So for the same price. And the last two. Wow. All right, guys, flight time. Flight time. All right, we're gonna do it outside, because look at this. Dread Hop Brewing right there, huge logo. It's amazing. Does the owner have dreads? 
All right, here we go. We got the double flight, right? So if you get the two flights, you get the extra two beers. You get the entire 10, right? So what do we have here? Well, over here, we're starting off with summer ale. Then we have Long Beach. Is that Long Beach? That's the pale ale. That's the pale ale. Ragged Point Red. Okay, so we got the red here. Uh, Pelican Island IPA. Pelican Island. Uh, Barracuda Double IPA. Okay. That's the Long Beach White. Here. Long Beach here. And then Ragged Point Red. Ragged Point Red. Sam Lord's Porter, Smoke Porter. That's the Porter I tried earlier. Yeah, and then the Mahogany Bay Stout. The Stout. And the Calypso Pilsen. Calypso Pilsen, yeah. and this is the only one that you can't find anywhere on the island but here. Amazing. I'm ready. All right, so I'm ready. How do you want to do this? Because, I mean, we're doing it sort of, you have your set, I have my set, yeah. and I guess we'll try a little bit of each, right? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah, so here we go. Starting off with Summer Ale, and I guess, what do you want to try with the porter? Yeah, why not? All right, cheers, bro. Cheers. Nice and mm. smoky. Yeah, this one's super Chocolate. smooth. It's very crisp, yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. Like hints of chocolate in this one for sure. I guess we'll just keep changing. Yeah, why not? It's going to be a lot easier. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, blah, blah, blah. Today's, today's been a long day, huh? My God. Long week. Yeah, I love this one. Smoky, chocolatey. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of a, a coffee here as yeah. well. A tiny bit. There's some notes. Yeah. That's good. I'm personally into darker beers. So I know I'm gonna like the style as well. But let's keep going in, the, in this rhythm, yeah. right? I guess we're going a little backwards, but it's okay, yeah, it's right? Okay. And right here we have... Pale Ale. This is the Pale Ale. I guess you're wrong, wrong. My IPA chatter there. Oh, the IPA? Mmm, very nice. Yeah, super light beer. This is perfect for yeah. a beach, right? You got the citrus notes from the hops in this one, for sure. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna like that one more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, don't, don't drink but it all. Subtle though, subtle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the good thing here is that most beers are around five, six percent, right? You have a six percent or a seven percent, two seven percenters, and a nine percenter. Yeah, and the bar is in there. Oh, this is great. I already smell the oranges. Oh, yeah, it is like a nice, cool, chill beer, you know? Mm. Easy to drink. Yeah, yeah. This one's amazing. This is really nice. And this is regular IPA. Or the double. Yassi Rob Rob, which is our regular, regular IPA. Regular IPA. Six percent. Where'd it go? I guess it goes here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what, what you put it, dude. We take it on the slot. That's yeah, no say. problem. Okay, uh, so I'm going with the red ale now. And this is Long Beach. Long Beach, is yeah. Cheers. Long Beach, red ale. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Very right. light. Mm, yeah, it's nice. I'm trying to think of what I taste here. I haven't had one of these in a while. A red ale? It's an amber ale, yeah. It's an amber ale. So a little malty roasted barley. I guess I'm getting the barley, right? Yeah. A lot of people get a bit of caramel in it too. Caramel? Yeah. A little bit. It's very popular with our English beers, mm -hmm. actually. It seems to be like the closest thing we do to a bitter. A bitter? Yeah, yeah. It's nice though. I do get that. I mean, it, caramel. it has a lot of taste. Yeah. Yeah. This one is, is just like... It's lighter. Lighter. Just more lighter. of a mouthfeel than it is. But it's always gonna have a still crafty feel. I feel like when you have regular beers, yeah, you don't have the same taste ever, man. Water, ever, yeah, it's pure water. Yeah, I mean, this is like ninety percent water. Yeah, you know? exactly. If you guys don't know, ninety percent of brewing is like cleaning, right? Absolutely, it's literally cleaning and sanitizing. That's all you do. It's crazy. Clean, clean. Got four more beers. Taste. Yeah, right. And this one is the. Pel the Pelican, so that's our hazy IPA. Hazy. The double IPA. Yeah, the double. Barra. That's a good, it's a good two. Ah, no, you nah, got go it. Go for it, go for it. Yeah, go yeah, for I want to try, I want to try. I mean, Sorry. it's two okay, IPAs. Okay, okay. I love the difference, right? So like, here, let's show them. So yeah, it's a cloudy one, it's a double. It's a lot clearer. Sometimes double IPAs are very, very cloudy. Yeah. But this one, nice, man. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, man. cheers. So you have three IPAs, so they're not. Oh, this one will sneak up on you, man. 9% and this you don't feel that. Too. Yeah? It's not as bitter or as hoppy as most IPAs are. Yeah. I think like, even as a double, it's not too hoppy. I don't feel like it's like over exaggerating because sometimes I've had it where it's like, uh, too much hops. I can't drink two or three of them, yeah. you know? I could tell you the notes I got from that, but I can't say it on camera. Oh, I feel that too. 
a wild plant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's family to hops, I guess. I mean, somewhere along the line again. Dread hops. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's fun, it's fun. It's I forgot what it was to do a beer video, man. <laughs> mm. And at the end, after you have four, that's basically one pint of beer, right? It's the same cost, but yeah, basically, because mm -hmm. there are two ounces mm -hmm. Two ounces? Yeah. So 16 ounces. Oh, so it's a little less, right? Okay. Okay, so which one you want? Because I know I want the stout. Say no more. I mean, no. at least I try it first. Oh god, this is good. Oh, I love stouts. Oh man, this is a big boy beer right here. You know, my first real intro to craft beer was Guinness at the Guinness Storehouse. Wow. That was like my introduction why I love beer. Because before that I had like Bud Light, Budweiser, all that yeah. stuff in the States. I mean, I, when I tried beer, Guinness, I tried it at 20 years old. So, it's been a minute. Guinness is a big thing here. Oh yeah, Guinness Huge. foreign extra. Because yeah. I'm foreign. Huge. Extra foreign. <laughs> You're extra foreign and the Guinness is foreign extra. <laughs> Let me try yours, dude. Let me try yours. Yeah. It's really nice though. I like yeah. it. Definitely a thicker beer that one. Mm. So creamy. Mm. Which one's this one again? That's the pilsner. Oh, this one's great. Yeah. Dude, this is the best pilsner on the island so. for sure. You know, it has so much taste. Yeah. Mm. Pilsner. Yeah. I'll give I'll give you another fact. First pilsner I ever had, Pilsner or Kel. Pilsner or Kel. Never heard. What? Yeah, never heard. Guys, never check heard. beer. They invented Pilsen. <laughs> oh, God. Well, dude. Yeah, there we go. Enjoy it. Down the hatch. Yes, down the hatch. Let's do it. Nice. Amazing. Yeah, it's good, right? It's refreshing. Yeah, I, you it's know exactly what? exactly what we needed after that rain. Exactly. With the heat in Barbados, this is what you need, right? So don't just go to the beaches, go to rum shops. Come try the beer here at Dread Hop Brewing. Amazing stuff. Yep. I love the logo, dude. I love the logo. Yeah. Good. Pretty good stuff. Good. This is the cat. <laughs> and that's it, guys. We had the official national dish of the country, which is flying fish and cuckoo. Unfortunately, there was no flying fish, so we replaced it with uh, saltfish gravy, red herring. Mm -hmm. That was really good. And that was there at Oysters. Oysters Fred's Fred. Bar. I feel like Oysters has everything. Oysters it has does. Everything. Our oysters is like the spot, One stop. the centerpiece, right? Yeah. And then after that, we came here to Dread Hop Brewing. This is the official only craft brewery of the country. So good. I recommend the Smoke Porter. You too. Yes, I do. It's my favorite. Or the Rum Rock IPA. <laughs> His favorite. <laughs> His IPA favorite. all day. All right, guys. We've been here for a few hours. We're relaxed. We're chill. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel. And I am done. I'm going to sleep. We're going to go to Midnight Chiffette. Yes. Midnight Midnight so we have a good a nap and then Shafat. Let's go, let's go. I need a nap. What's up guys? David Hoffman here from David's Been here coming at you from beautiful Barbados with my boy Craig. And tonight we're hungry and we're here at Shafet. Starving. It's midnight. What is Shafet? Shafet's our local fast food joint. There's none other Shafets in the Caribbean, nowhere else in the world. Yeah, and this is the original right here, right? Original Fontabelle. Fontabelle. Yep. And it's uh, late, you know, it's midnight. It's, it's open till 3 in the morning. Yeah. 3.30 roughly, yeah, right? Before COVID, depends on the time of week, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But the latest is 3. Latest is morning. 3? Yep. Okay. So we're going to go inside. We're going to order a bunch of things from the menu. They have That's pizza. Stuff. They have broiled chicken. They have roti. Sandwiches. Ice, ice cream. Ice cream. A mix, else. right? Yep. Okay, so we have to get a mask on and let's go inside. Let's go. And there we go, Shafat. Pizza, huh? Hello. How you doing? Fine, and you? You look great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna eat some food. We got barbecue burger. What is this? I mean, like, what would you order here? I guess that's the question. I probably got the Brussels chicken box. Okay. Chicken sandwich. Potato wedges. They have rotis, they have barbecue burgers, chicken sandwiches. They have whole pizza. Okay. We'll see. Hey guys, so unfortunately they told us we cannot film inside. No filming allowed inside. So you know what? We're gonna get in the car, we're gonna drive through, and we're gonna take it home and eat there. 
So what happened? So, they were not allow us to film inside Shafat Fountain Cabell. They said we could film outside of any Shafat. So we came here to drive through at Shafat Rockley. Shafat Rockley? Yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna get a roasted chicken snack box, right? Snack box for sure. Uh, chicken nuggets, chicken sandwich, some chicken. Roasted chicken sandwich. No, no, uh, no. A roti. You can try a Shafat roti. A Shafat roti. Have, yeah, try it. Okay, so which one are we getting? Um. Or maybe two rotis, beef and potato, chicken and potato. You sure? Because there's barbecue burgers, sliced pizza, kids meal. Can I get a snack box, a barbecue chicken sandwich? One snack box, one barbecue sandwich. A nine piece nugget with sauce. That's sauce. Barbecue? Of course. Please? Yes. Um, a chicken and potato roti. Yes, please. A burger and a pepperoni slice, please. And if you could in 10 minutes, if you don't mind holding. 10 minutes only pizzas. Cancel. Alright, no pizza, just everything else. Okay, one snack, one barbecue sandwich, nine nuggets, barbecue sauce, chicken and potato, we'll take the part of all that. Yes, ma'am. So, so, nice 64 party, please. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Was, was that nice. good for you? 100%. Yeah. Was that good for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess it's good for me too, right? Let me help you, please. Are you sure? Give me up 67. 67? Who's the total now? 64. 64. 64. It has a ton of food for like 30 something, right? 30 US? It's not bad. So we canceled the pizza because it said it was going to take an extra 10 to 15 minutes, so no point. Drive through. It's been a minute. Well, my boy's like not happy. No, they didn't treat us so well at the other place. But to be honest, you know, we just walked in with the camera. Right, it's never, it's never so easy when you do that with a big chain corporate rules. place, right? Rules. Yeah, yeah. They have rules. Um, so, we said we could film outside, so we filmed. Outside. It's sad because you know we really wanted to film this, and they were like, mm, nope. And we're like, we're just gonna order our food and eat. And my nuggets and chicken and potato and the porta powder. Yes, sir. So, tall order, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I remember. I was just coaching them off. Oh, right. Right. Thank you, you too. Thank you so much. Uh, where do we? Whatever. Let's go right here, yeah. Let's go. Alright, so we're literally going to post up right here in the parking lot on the hood. Little ghetto, but it's all good. Matrini. Hello. What do we got? We have roasted chicken sandwich, we have nuggets, we have uh, chicken and potato roti, quarter pound of beef sandwich. Barbecue, quarter pound of sandwich. Nuggets, oh that's a cute box, that's new. Okay. Our uh, snack box. So what's in that snack box? There's a bread roll, small chips, and two pieces of chicken. This is the chicken and potato roti. Okay. Okay, so we're doing this on the hood, right? Yeah. Whatever, let's go. I'm starving. Want to try first? Chicken. Try chicken first. Go chicken? First. This is a yeah. snack box? 100%. So you got some drumsticks, right. right? Super crispy, obviously deep fried. Let's try Cheers, it, bro. bro. Cheers. Good, right? Mm hmm. Good. Good. Oh, wow. Mmm. Super juicy. Fried chicken. It's always good, bro. It's actually really good. It's always good. Mmm. So it comes with two, right? Mm-hmm. Along with some fries. Some fries. Good. I'll tell you, I love it. Me too. Obviously, fast food. Mmm. Uh, Super nice. So you not said too that, greasy. Not too greasy. Yeah. So you said in the 90s they had a commercial that was like like three words. Oh, it was, it was hungry, chef fat. That was it. Mmm. That was the whole commercial. Mm, well, I'll tell you. you know, it's late night, you're partying, come here at 2 in the morning, go order this. Mm -hmm. Right now it's almost 1 a.m. Yep. Mmm. It was good. Remember here we have a roll, right? Yep. Dinner roll. A little bread. So break it up. Well, we probably should have eaten this with the, the chicken or something. Mmm. -hmm. It's a dinner roll. Fluffy bread. Fast food is good. Yeah. 
That's what it is good. Not the healthiest thing in the world, but it's good. It's not. Mm-hmm. And right here, we have a chicken and potato roti. Mm-hmm. Chicken and potato roti. Uh, let's open it up like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Right there. Look at that. Still hot. I'm going to break it up, ready? Almost like a curry chicken, right? Here, dude. Let's take it. I'll just take this. We're doing it in car park like crazy people. Whatever. Here, come, come. Let's do it together. Ready? There we go. Got it? I'm ready. I'm starving. Me too. Take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a roti. Roti, nice spices. You got the aloo, potatoes. Mmm, nice chicken. Good late night snack, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely a filler. Mmm. It was so good. Enjoying? Very much. I ate it so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Nuggets. For sure. Oh, what's that barbecue? Yeah, barbecue sauce. Okay, perfect. So you got what, like a six piece nuggets? Mm -hmm. Yummy? Mm -hmm. mm. Looks good. It's a good midnight snack. Good midnight snack? Oh, wow. The barbecue sauce is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try one of these nuggets. Have to, right? Think? It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. It is barbecue a good sauce. Snack, isn't it? it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Try the fries. It's a fine. Mm. Some fries. Yeah, it's uh, fries in the barbecue sauce is good. Fries in here? Mm-hmm. Barbecue sauce for everything. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I mean, everything's been super satisfying, right? It's good. It's I mean, good. You, you know, I don't eat too much fast food, but, but this is good. This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. Chafet, huh? Yeah. Chafet. Hungry. Chafet. 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 <laughs> I feel like that's like a copy of uh, Hungry Why Wait. Yeah. <laughs> so next up, we got the barbecue. Chicken sandwich. Barbecue chicken sandwich, guys. Look right here. <sighs> what? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have some cabbage, tomato, the bit of lettuce, onions. I guess we'll just break this in it's half. It's hard to do. I'll just, just go, for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Go for it. Nice bun. I like the slaw inside. I mean, it's my favorite chicken sandwich. Yeah, I agree. It's okay. Fast food chicken sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. Nice straight up burger. Mm hmm. Quite nice. Oh, God. What is this, the barbecue, what is it? Barbecue quarter pound burger. All right, bro. You know what? That's all you, man. Sure? Yeah, I'll eat this. Come on, you can, oh, okay. You well, I'll take a bite then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Straight up burger. Can't go wrong with the burger, you know? Yeah. No, I gotta be fair. Tell what you mean. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm so tired right now. Midnight after a nap, yeah. I'm dead. It was like 1 30 in the morning. Yeah. Mm. After being up since what, six, seven? I thought that a nap will help. A nap just makes me want to go back to sleep. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I'll take a bite. I'll take a bite. Mm. Ready, right here? Mm hmm. Mmm, mmm. The burger, right? The pickle, tomatoes, onion. Mm hmm. Oh, another bite. Mm hmm. I mean, it's definitely like a standard burger, but. Roasted. Roasted? Mm -hmm. Or barbecue, was it? No, barbecue, barbecue. Probably barbecue. I'm forgetting what we're eating. We're all delirious right now. Mm. 
The portions aren't so crazy. No, it's manageable. The thing is that because we don't have fries along with it, right? Mm -hmm. Only one half fries? Only one. That's not box half fries. Yeah. Okay. You can still get this with fries, that with fries. Yeah. Basically you finished right there. Mm -hmm. So in terms of my review here in Chipet, I think it's definitely a must try. Oh God, I feel like I'm, I'm still like a little hungry. Uh, Go for it. I'm stuffed. We're stuffed, huh? The barbecue quarter pound burger is really nice. Got pickles in there. Great. Mm -hmm. That's what makes this. So what's your favorite thing here in Chipet? Chipet? Wing dings, but it's a special thing. Wingdings and tenders. And what happens? Like? Specials. We didn't order specials. You don't have it, no. It just comes your own seasonally. Yeah. So wingdings or the tenders. Mm. The whole of Barbados goes crazy for those two things. Just in betweeners. What we had tonight were in betweeners. But. Mm. This is their consistent stuff. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is what you should get. We'll be here any when time any time. Mm -hmm. Any time of year. They also have pizza, which obviously we didn't get no. because it was a way longer for it. They have ice cream. Have like thing called the barbecue bar, so it's like a uh, like and a buffet. Not really buffet, bar. but salad bar type style. Oh, that's right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got like rice, you got macaroni pie, steak, fish, steaks, um, gourmet burger, that kind of stuff. Guys, I was starving. Yeah, starving, man. Pizza. And after midnight, the only place to go when you're starving is Shafat. Shafat. Even though we had a little bit of a bumpy ride to get into Shafat, yeah, we did it. The food makes up for it. The food makes up for it. We did drive through. We went to the first location, which is the original location. Mm -hmm. Then we came here, we did drive through. We got chicken sandwich, burger, we got the snack box with chicken uh, tenders, chicken nuggets, actually. Mm -hmm. Frank, come here, come here. <laughs> so, I'll say it was a great experience. Shafat must visit when you come to Barbados, the island of Bim. And to my Bajans, thank you so much. Really good stuff. Ooh, I'm full now. It's I'm going to sleep. Time for bed. Two in the morning, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, I need some rum. <laughs> rum before bed. Ah, <laughs> uh, something to put me down. A night cap. Knock me out. <laughs>
<laughs> without Pepper. And by the way, she's the one who invited me again and she has an Airbnb, so I'm staying at her Airbnb. It's amazing, it's right next to the beach, only like a two minute walk from the beach. It's a one bedroom, uh, one bath, you have a kitchen, yeah, it's an amazing experience. I've been here for six days so far. <laughs> All sponsored by Jet Express. By Jet Express, yes. right? Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm hungry, I'm ready. All right. All right, so let's start. Okay, so we'll do the doubles first. So, we do the dough. And the oil has to be really hot. So you push, pull, and then you... you guys, look how fast this is. Super fast. Yes. Oh. So oil is really hot, you turn, take out, and it's good to go. So fast. Really fast. So how long have you been in uh, Barbados for? I oh. am here. On work, of course, mm -hmm. at Jet Express. I am here only uh, two weeks at a time. Okay. I didn't know that. Airbnb is Craig's. And your sponsorship, Jet Express sponsored your accommodation. So it's Craig's Airbnb, which is Ginger's Cottage, courtesy Ginger. Ginger's Cottage? Crushing. Oh, him. yeah, what are you doing, dude? Coconut jelly. <laughs> You'll have to show him Ginger. Reason for Ginger's cottage. Is it the cat? Yes. <laughs> Look at the cat. Ginger. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ginger. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, this is going to be so good. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute since I've had a double. This is how they do it in Trinidad, right? So when you're going anywhere in Trinidad, there's doubles like literally every corner is a double in the spot, right? Every nook and cranny. From my understanding, there's like over 2,000 double spots in Trinidad. And uh, this is what they do, right? Every single day. Usually what they do is they start at 3 in the morning. They make like a lot of bars. They put it into, um, into a cooler, right? And then cooler. from there, yeah. they take it to the street. Mm -hmm. And then they sell. Mm -hmm. You know, some places so. do it on the spot. But some pl most places do it like that. Yes, because they have made it mobile, but I learned doubles from my grandmother because she started selling doubles in the market way when we were children. Oh yeah? Yes. So this is her recipe. Oh yeah? She taught all of us to learn how to make doubles and sell to earn a living. Uh, how many bars can you eat, man? Uh, too many, too many. Too many. <laughs> I mean, it's like pasta. I mean, I like that they're nice and small. They're not too big, right? And the way it works with doubles is that you get two of these, so two bar, that's why it's called a double. You can also have a triple, you can have a quad, but if you do like that, it's just a little too much um, bar with uh, like not enough uh, yeah. chana, not enough chutneys, right? Yeah. And then where's the chana? That's the one thing I haven't seen. All right there. Mm, it smells so good, this chana. Okay, you so wash your hands. I have to wash my hands, right? Okay. Enough, enough. Alright. And then next up, I'm gonna get the bar, right? Sorry, right there. Alright. Right. So then you have to take it like this. Okay, so like take it a little bit like that. Is that good enough? Yeah. And then right here. And then you push and pull to flatten it off. Just so like that? Yes, push and pull. I just don't want to make the holes. The ends. Okay. Is that okay? Or like more. It's a little too thick. Yeah, you, have, you need to just spread it all. More. More, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that goes yeah, straight yeah. in. Here we go, guys. Watch this. Gotta be careful here. So it goes really fast. Uh -huh. So I'll turn it really quick. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm hmm. And take out. Just like that. Super fast. Right? And then from there, right here. Mm -hmm. So you let the oil drain, and then we keep going, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that's good for that. Let's do an alu pie, right? Okay. Okay, so we have one here. Right. So we'll do one from, from scratch. So. so it's a different dough? Yes. Okay. This, this dough, the, it's just flour. Okay. So then we... Fill it. All right. So fill it. Mm-hmm. Like so she closes it like that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Always Seal does it. that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it seals it, but it's also another way to know what, which one it is. Because sometimes if it's an eggplant or sometimes they have other things inside the pie, mm -hmm. they'll change that, right? So that goes straight in. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Right there. So I'm going to flip it. Mm -hmm. So flip one time. Flip and let it swell up. Okay. And then, that's good? Need some more time? Yeah. I'm a novice, guys. <laughs> So that's like golden brown, right? Golden brown, golden brown. nice color. Take that all that oil, so you let the oil drain right back into the pot. And then, one, two, three, straight in here. And that's an aloo pie. It's amazing. Let's do some more aloo pies. So this one, it's pretty stuffed, huh? Mm -hmm. So the aloo pie reminds me of like an empanada, just the, the I guess the, the shape, right? But definitely not empanada, nothing to do with it. And this is all veg, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing here, it has um, meat, but there is some fish on the side for the bake, right? Right, that's a smoke herring. Mm-hmm, a smoke herring. Yeah. Just like that. And the way that I seen it in, uh, in Trinidad, when I went to the doubles factory at three in the morning, they had a huge pot, and they had like 50 doubles going at one time. And it's just like nonstop, or baras, baras, you know, that. Bara, bara, bara. bara. Not bara, that's Spanish. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. I know, but because in, in Espanol it's bara. Yeah, you rule your R's in yeah. Spanish. Bara. Really? Oh, yeah. Barbados? Mm hmm. Okay. He's got to go to Florida, so. It's probably big. It's probably big for this small Karen. Okay. So, what's the difference between bake, a bara, and a pie? What's the difference? Right. So, in bara, you have a mixture of flour and split peas flour in order to make bara the authentic way. In fry bake, it's just flour, baking powder, salt. Perfect. So it's more or less the same thing. You just have the same concept, you can say. It's just that you have different textures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely a different shape, right? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a circular bread. Yeah, it does remind me of a bara, but different color, right? Because that's a split piece. That's right. why that's why the bar looks a little different, right? Right, and um, with the beak, it, it swells so that it's easy to open. Mm -hmm. To put the filling inside. Yeah, look at that. Here in Barbados, they also do bake, and that's usually with like salt fish, right? Salt fish. The way I had it in Trinidad was in Morocco's, mm -hmm. Morocco's beach, I had a bacon <laughs> shark. Now that was epic. That was my favorite fish sandwich of all time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you cut it open, they put this huge piece of shark in there, which I think was hammerhead shark, and then uh, you fill it up with some toppings, right? Uh -huh. Delicious. Condiments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, what are you gonna do with the rest of the bar? Uh, some, small little pylories. Oh, that's fast, that's fast. It's amazing. There's nothing like being in a Trini kitchen. Oh my god, yeah. That's that, that one's too crispy. Yeah, this one. That one's crispy, crispy, crispy. This one. <laughs> so, the rest of the butter is purely turning into flores. Just don't want them to get too cooked, right? Fast that is, huh? It's quick. Super quick. And your mom keeps dropping more and more in. <laughs> We're not wasting any of that dough, right? No. Like so fast. Well, let me try to get one. Go. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get one, guys. So just like piss up. Yeah, they're done, right? So you just put them here. And then this last one, letting it get golden brown. I think it's done. So let that oil drip, right? And then right here, oh, put it here. So maybe move all of them here, right? You know what? It's easy like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying my best here. I'm not a chef, I told you guys. Never cooked a thing in my life. Actually, eggs and pancakes, it's easy. <laughs> okay, so hands washed again. Yes. Wash the hands, and now we're gonna do the smoked herring, right? So let's see. So first oil to the pan. So the smoked herring is boiled twice because you know it's very salty. So I boil it, wash it, sort of debone it a little bit and prepare it for cooking now. Okay. 
And then I'm putting onions. Get the onions tender a little bit, but not burn, mm -hmm. so that the flavor remains. And the smoked herring. Now she's gonna have the smoked herring right there. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that you mix it together like that. So what did you add there? Pepper and some green seasoning. Homemade green seasoning, got a chili in there. Well, a nice pepper, what was that? It's not cayenne, right? No, this is local pepper, I guess it's... From Barbados? Yes. So Bajan pepper right here. Bajan pepper. Bajan pepper. <laughs> Bajan pepper. And that's it. Oh, perfect. So a lot of you might be thinking why I'm eating Trini food here in Barbados. Well, I love Trini food. That's why. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm going to try it just directly from here. A little bit of herring. There's a little bit of bones in here. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing herring. Mmm. Well, yeah, that was good. Not, not too spicy. Perfect. Okay. I didn't even touch a spoon, guys, so don't worry about that. <laughs> No, people are going to be like, you touched the spoon. Like, no, no, I didn't. I just at the very end. So now we're going to get the chana. That's chickpeas, of course. In Hindi, chana. Chana. is the best. No matter what, I can eat chana every day. So we are doing a Trini breakfast in Barbados. Okay, Nurisa, are you ready? I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do we start? Doubles? Doubles, yes. Doubles. So two bar. Okay, so... Get two for you, yes. two for me. Sorry that I touched it, but it's okay, right? We're all family here, <laughs> right? And then, uh, so we got... The chana. The chana first, yeah, yeah. Chana first, of course. Ooh, it's hot. How much do you want? Uh, another one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then the way you do this, guys, is that you add the chana, and then you add the chutneys, and then we're gonna use one of the baras to get the other one, right? So, which one do you want from this? The tamarind. Okay. Tamarind chutney. This is tamarind and mango. That's, That's mango. This is one mango. This is mango, okay. Amazing. So, this is the best part about this, right? And this one here is tamarind. So, the tamarind is nice and sweet. Mango is sweet as well. So, it's going to be a little sweet. All right, these bottles. Ooh, like that. Yes, yes. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> And then this is a cucumber chutney. Cucumber? So just a little bit. A little bit, huh? Yeah. You only want a little bit? I guess I'll get it. Look yeah. at that. And then and we then have... Pepper. And this is what makes this dish, right? <laughs> this is going to be epic. Oh my god, a little bit. A little bit? How much? How much? Yeah, that, that, yeah that's good. That's, that's good. good, that's good. I'm like... <laughs> come on. You know, the first night I got here, when I arrived at the Airbnb, her mother, auntie, had a spread for us and it was amazing. Yes. And I woke up the next day and my stomach did hurt because that pepper is hot. <laughs> and you're still going heavy on it. Yeah, so here we go, right? So we're gonna go at that. I usually eat it like... You do it at that? Yeah. Oh, I do it straight like this, right? Yes. I just pick up. Pick up everything and then... Oh, and then we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh wow, it literally takes me back. Everything just comes together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much flavor, a little spicy. Oh, the crispiness of the dough. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love that your mom made them a little smaller. Mm -hmm. Some people make them like almost the size of this plate. And it's too big traditionally. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be small. It's supposed to be bite size because bite size. it's a, a breakfast dish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this, guys. So this is the true way. Two bites, right? Like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and one more bite. Mm. 
It's too much. Let me add some of the pilori. I mix it in with this. Nice spice. Ooh, I feel that pepper now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Today I'm gonna do this. I spread you. That's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, is it raining inside? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna add some of this onto the well, you try it out when you borrow. I will. I'll have another one now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want some? Oh, it's good, nice and sweet with this. They'll marry well with the tamarind and the mango chutney. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that pineapple with mango mixed with the mango chutney. Mm -hmm. This is going to be amazing with the doubles. One day when I have doubles 305 in Miami, nice. I'll do that. David's doubles. David's doubles. And so, like, now I do this, grab, right, as much as I can, and then I'll add this, right? So, first time trying David's been here hot sauce on a double. You know what, a little more for you. We're finishing this bottle today. Last day in Barbados. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, definitely, made oh, for wow. doubles. Made for doubles, it's incredible. Mm. You know what I love about doubles, the Trini breakfast? Comfort food, mm -hmm. straight up comfort. Mm. And you're allowed to lick your fingers. I've actually seen people do this. They get to play and they go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. When nobody around. <laughs> when nobody around, no, but when nobody's around me, baby. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. It's really good. So nice, Indra. Thank you so much. That was fantastic. Now we try a pie, right? Yeah, our pie. And for the pie, same thing, right? We're gonna build it. Yeah. So, I'm gonna grab one pie. So you cut it open? So, you, okay, so we're gonna cut it open. Got it. Oh, actually, you could just peel Oh, yeah, yeah, we could peel it, we could peel it back. The side, the other side. The other side, right there. Yes, just open it up right here. No, it's good like this. So same thing, right? So we're gonna add... The chana. Chana. It's almost the same as double, but the difference is here is that it's a little bit of a different dough. And we have inside um, aloo, right? I've also had it with eggplant before, like an eggplant pie. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, I think it's called the Green Shed is the place I went to. Oh. Green Shed, and, um, and that is in Debe. In oh. Debe. It's crazy how I remember all the names, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, have I, no. They have so many, right? And so we're going to keep going, right? Yeah. Got some mango. Mango is nice and yummy. A little sweet. A little tarty, too, this one. Yes. And then we also get, how much you wanted this? You want very little, right? You're not a big cucumber girl? Just a little bit. Yeah. I'll, I'll fill mine up a little more. <laughs> and then at the very end, you add the pepper. So she's not really too much into yeah, spice. So, oh, sorry. That's all right. That's good. That's good. I'm going right here. I know it's hot, so I go easy on it. I don't. Mmm. 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 That is good. All right, so now we fold it back up, and literally you could do this too. Like yeah. you could just like, this one's big. oh, 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 <laughs> this is like I'm back in Trinidad. It's amazing. <laughs> Cheers. Mhm. 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 It was so delicious. Mhm. The flavors, contrast, and textures too. And just enough olive. Mhm. Yeah, like your mom didn't put too much aloe because some people just like they fill it up way too much. This is nice. Oh, it's like you don't get enough. Mm hmm It's like samosas sometimes they're empty. You know? <laughs> and you're like, what did the guy do here? Mmm. Oh I love it with the with the DBH hot sauce. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. What a breakfast. You know, the last day when I was in Trinidad, I did a doubles tour. Guess how many doubles I ate? I did, I did five, five places. One place a triple, and the other place is double. So I had 11 bar. Oh. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good tour to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is an amazing breakfast. Oh, you made me so happy. 
You know something about this breakfast? I like the heat. I like how comforting it is. It's filling. And this was like made of uh, like a spin on chole batore, which is an Indian dish. Oh, yeah, when the Indians came to Trinidad, they didn't come with like all their ingredients and everything that they would have had it in there. Mm -hmm. So whatever was available in Trinidad, they just replicated what they could from in their home mm -hmm. back in Trinidad. Yeah, and this is the only place in the world where they do doubles. Nowhere else, no other Caribbean island. Guyana doesn't do it, Suriname doesn't do it, none of the places do it. Mm. Oh, wow. Feeling the heat, right? You can see it on my head. Like I'm burning up. Okay, so next up we have two more things, right? So we have the tomato, tomato truco. And this is almost like a, like a, I guess like a, what would you call it? Salsa. Oh, yeah, yeah. That like a tomato salsa, salsa right? Yeah. But it's thicker. Yeah. Do you want more? Or you're Onions. good. Yeah, that's enough. There. That's enough. <laughs> I'm the one that's overeating today. That's fine. It's all good. As much as you can. We're going on a coconut tour later. <laughs> so get the bake, right? This is the bake. Beautiful. And the same thing, right? So we open it up. Yeah. I normally open it up. And just stuff it with everything. Yeah. So again, like I had this in Morocco Beach with the shark, but it was a lot bigger. You open it up like that. Beautiful. Nice and fluffy. Yeah. And then we, um, we just put the herring inside, right? And then the chocolate, do we eat it with this or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course, right? You want more? Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay. So then what I should do is use one of these spoons, right? Mm -hmm. To like grab this and put it on top. Just like that. Oh, I love tomato choca. So I've had tomato choca and I've had uh, eggplant choca as well. Bygone so, choca. Bygone choca, exactly. Do you want this? Yeah. Yeah. The variation of Malinger we get in Barbados is different to Trinidad. Mm -hmm. So it comes out a little bit different. It doesn't have the same like flavor and texture. Got it, got it. Yeah. Wow, okay. the pepper's hitting me. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, nice. So good. Smoky. A little salty. Mm-hmm. You're right, I'm almost sold. It's so good. It's like a sandwich, a salt fish sandwich with tomato. Mmm. Love it. I eat this all day, guys. Feel good food. Mm hmm It's amazing that in the States, it's impossible to find. Yeah, I mean, we can go some places in Little Guyana, in um, Queens. There they have a huge Trini population. That was the first time I tried doubles, was up there. Oh, okay. How but, does compared to where you nah, had it in Not the same thing ever. Mm -mm. I had it also in Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, but it's never going to taste the same as Trinidad. Right. No, and also the bake. They didn't have any bake with salt fish or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You done? <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, you continue. <laughs> I'm gonna have another pilori with some sauce. Like that. Perfect. Mm hmm. Mm. It's my last day in Barbados. I'm going all out with the food. Mm hmm. Mm. Too much food, huh? I'm gonna show you how much auntie made. Look at this, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna embarrass. They throw off for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put some more chat in here, right? Like that. Some tamarind. Some mango. Nice amount of pepper. Like that. Ooh. And then. Really love your pepper. Mm hmm. Oh, with some of that too. It's good. Mm -hmm. Food's outstanding. Mm -hmm. It's a true home cooked Trini breakfast. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Look at it. I'm like sweating. I need water. I should need coconut water. Luckily for us, you know, Sundays here in, uh, in Barbados, there's coconut day, right? Mm -hmm. So people go on coconut runs basically. They go out. They have coconut with their family and friends. You can have tender coconut, which is the jelly, right? You have coconut water. And there's so many different variations of coconuts. We're gonna go experience that later. For now, we're gonna enjoy this. 
I, I think I think she's done, but <laughs> I'm not done yet. Well, that was an amazing breakfast. It was. I'm full. I'm super full too. <laughs> so now you guys know when you're ever in Barbados, definitely stay at this Airbnb. Her mother's Airbnb. It's a one bedroom, one bath. You got a kitchen. You have um, it's a super couch and an extra mattress so you can sleep so four. Small. You can sleep four, right? Mm -hmm. There's also, so in the kitchen you have a microwave, you also have a TV, you have a little small fridge. Right. And then from there, it's literally a two minute walk. I just did it this morning. We walked right outside, made a right, and go straight to the beach. You get down, it's like a hidden beach right there. You just get down in the rocks. It was amazing. I really should have gone this morning and jumped in, but it's okay. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this Trini breakfast. If you're ever in Barbados, stay at their Airbnb and hopefully one day they'll be offering Trini breakfast soon, right? <laughs> She's like, no, nah, that's too much work. <laughs> Better than breakfast. Better than breakfast, exactly, exactly. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content and I'll see you on the other side of Pepper. <laughs> I'm burning up, dude. I should love that. I'll see you on the other side of Pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here in beautiful Barbados with my boy Marcus, the coconut king right here. Today we're going to be doing coconuts, right? Yeah. So, so all day. Today's Sunday, this is coconut day here in Barbados. From my understanding, people go to church, they come, they get coconut water, they buy a gallon, you buy also... Uh, Bottles, small water, jelly, everything. Everything. Awesome. So you just got all these, right? You cut these down? All fresh, look at this. Good water. Nice plate. Nice. Yes, sir. Wow. It's intense. They're here every day, but Sunday's the day to come, for sure. Sunday is a lot of people. I recommend Marcus, though. So, Marcus, where are we in Barbados? Luton. Luton. So, it's south. Luton, Got it, got it. Luton Highway. So many you got. All right, what's your name again? Uh, Ramel. Ramel, thank you so much, man. Right Ramel follows me, and he's like, dude, you came out. I saw you. What is this? Rum Punch. Rum Punch? Yes, definitely. Rock Rum Punch. It's amazing. And this is your own brand? 100% Army. Made here Barbados. So what's Rum Punch, for people who don't know? Well, Rum Punch basically is a combination of five ingredients. So you have rum, lime juice, water, sugar, and angostrobo. Got it. So the bitters is like sort of what makes it like... Yeah, give us give it this amber light color. You can drink also. Okay. And I will just pour it in. And you can catch me pouring it in for you. Okay? Yeah. So you're gonna pour it inside? Yeah. Let's do it. It's amazing. I've never had this like this, dude. Yep, here you go. So this is Rommel's rum rum punch. Love it. Dude, I can't wait to try this. Yes. I'm super excited. Oh, it's incredible. Mixed with the coconut water, mm, nice and sweet. This is fantastic. Yeah, but you wanted me to try it alone, right? Yep. So you know what? If you're gonna hold that for a second. This is amazing. Here on the side of the road in Barbados, having rum and punch, coconut water. Yep. Dude, this is the life. The life in BIM, right? Mmm. Yep. What I love about rum punch is those bitters. Yep. You know, it's a little different, right? So it's not just rum and fruit. It's a little bit of sugar. Bitters, rum, what else? What? And lime juice. And lime juice. Yes, correct. I, I'll, I'll give you a little uh, insight. The only juice it's supposed to be in the traditional rum punch is lime juice. Okay. Yes, if you add any other juice to it, it's a planter's punch now. It's a planter's it's punch. A planter's punch. It's Got no it. longer really a rum punch. And what rum do you use or is that a secret? Uh, I, I, Barbadian rum. Barbadian rum, Barbadian obviously. Rum. They yeah. invented rum here in 1703. Yes. Dude, this is awesome. You know what, I'm gonna finish that coconut. Yeah. This is amazing. I won't lie to you. I'm super happy. I love being here. Wow. Yeah. What's cool is that we're literally on the side of the road. This is the highway right here, right? Yeah. And it's a Sunday. Hey, God bless the day. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Man. Thank you so much. Whoa, that is like filling. Yeah. It's a lot. This is a big one. And it's 40 different variations of coconuts here. Incredible. So Mark is going to tell us all about it. Every, everyone's different, right? Yeah. A little sweeter, some have more jelly, some have less jelly. Coconut culture here in Barbados. And when you're done, this is what you do. That one didn't really have that much jelly. Toss it. Ramel, hey, my man, thank you so much. 
I truly appreciate that. No problem at all. It was fate that we ran into each other. He's like, I follow you. I got some rum. This is my company. Rum and Punch from him. And it's Rock Punch. Rock Punch underscore 246. You know, follow him. You can buy the rum. Hey, my man, thank you so much. I'm going to go and get some coconuts now. Thank you. Ready? Rock and roll? Ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Okay. I'll see you in five minutes. All right. Yeah. Maybe half an hour. Okay, okay. okay. I'm jumping on the truck. Here we go, here we go. All right, let's go. Going to get some coconuts. My man, I'll see you later. Next time, next time. I'm rock and roll, dude. You making a seat for me right there? Oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. Thank you. This is right here. How many machetes you got, bro? <laughs> so you use these to get up the tree? Spikes. Spikes, huh? <laughs> Woo! Right now we're headed over Marcus to get some coconuts. He's gonna climb a tree. Is that what you guys do? You climb the tree, cut it down, they all fall, put it in here into the big truck, bring it here to the corner, right? To this strip, actually, the highway. This is the main highway, right? That goes up and down, right? Yeah. So I forget where I am in Barbados. It's amazing. So we made it here to Silver Sands. This is in Christchurch, the very bottom of Barbados. So we're gonna get to a point where there's a lot of palm trees. My boy here is gonna climb the top and get some for us, some coconuts. Huh? Only one tree at the moment. Only one tree? Yeah, this one here. Okay. Got it, got it. So what species is that? No idea, right? I mean, they look a little small. They don't look too big. You didn't see it yet. Let's see. All right, I'll follow you. Oh, let's go, let's go. I'm super excited, this is amazing. Marcus, dude, that was awesome. Yeah. You good? Very cool. Dude, you're wearing this in the seat, bro, you're wild. <laughs> oh, so we're going through this small shed right here. Yeah, we're going through. Wow, wow, this is like, gotta be careful here. Look at this. Oh, is that the tree right there? Yeah, it comes That's the, the tree. Got it, got it, got it. He's gonna climb up to that tree right there. Oh my gosh. That's high, man. Whoa, it looks like you're rock climbing, bro, with this thing. Okay, so he, he holds the rope while you climb, right? Okay. Stay safe, bro. Look at his, see the feet? And he locks up, very similar to rock climbing. Oh my gosh. Dude. Yeah, so he starts himself in when he gets to the top, so he can't fall. And then he pulls out the knife, right, like a little machete, and he cuts him down. Yeah, they look pretty big, huh? And he just told me this is his 41st tree of the day. 41st tree. Wow. So you knew how much coconuts does get cut? Thousands, millions. Thousands a day, a day. At least for that work, at least one more cut. Thousand or more. Wow. Dude, what's scary is that tree can literally fall. That tree can fall, dude. Oh. oh, first one. Yeah, see in Miami what we do is that they put like a cushion, like almost like a bed cushion, mm -hmm. so they don't break, you know? Oh, he's cutting it now. Clear. Oh, he's dropping a, a big one down. It's the whole thing, huh? Wow. Dude, that was scary. Dude, you saw how massive those coconuts are? Huge. Yeah, they can grow back. I mean, they grow back pretty fast, actually. Like half a year, right? Pretty fast. I mean, the good thing is they have lots of trees. Oh my god. As you can see, what he's doing now, he's strapping it, right? Putting it onto the rope. And then once it's secure, he'll cut it. And then he'll slowly let it down. Watch it here, loose one. Careful. Oh my god. See, what he has to do is when, he, when he's going down, he says, man, under in case a coconut falls on him. If one of those falls on him, he could literally die. That would destroy you. Huge coconuts. It's amazing how big they are. How long does it take that for that to grow? Four weeks. Oh, they'll grow back in that long? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's Six weeks, that's it, for that to grow again? Massive. Oh my god. He's going down? He's coming down. down. Whoa. Go in my yard. Go in my yard. Don't hit the garden, bro. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing, dude. It's amazing. It's amazing. Hey, thanks, bro. Thanks.
That's it. Now we have to carry it to the car, right? To the van? I hope you guys, I hope you guys. Let's go. I'll see what I can grab. Let me see. It's a little, a small batch here. Oh, I mean, these guys are carrying it on their back. I'm carrying it. Oh, oh, wow. What was that? What was that? That, that was like the separation. Instead of a fence, they have a little line. Oh, sweating. I barely did anything. This is blazing in the sun right now. All right, let me get to that. Dude, you did it. Amazing job. You're dying? <laughs> the man comes over like 10 in this tree. <laughs> After that workout, man. I don't want to feel like you're going there, but you ain't going there. Let me get up here with them. That's for you? It's amazing. So right now what Marcus is doing is he's cutting a few for one of the owners, right? Yeah. So the owners, sometimes they ask for some, sometimes they don't. In Miami, I have a few corona trees, or palm trees, right? And guys will come and they'll do the same thing. And they'll tell us like, we'll give you 10 and we'll take the rest. And we're like, yeah, do it. That's a massive one, dude. Thank you don't want so much. There's a lot even for a small one. Yeah? Oh, that's a lot of jelly. Yeah. You can tell from the thickness of the jelly how old the nut is. Oh, yeah? yeah? From the thickness? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'll oh, drink some, I'll drink some. No, it's finished. Oh, it's finished? Oh, my God, one, two, three. Is that finished? Yeah. That's a long one? Yeah. It's so hot. It is finished. Yeah, mm. it's <laughs> So now we're going back to his spot on the highway. We're going to cut some coconuts. We're going to try some jelly. See the different variations? You know, there's so many different species here. He said he have 40 different species. Each palm is different. So what aren't exactly the same. They never are. You got small ones, you have huge ones, you have yellow ones. Very different, right? Surprise, surprise. We're going for more coconuts. <laughs> He's like, that tree looks good. There's a lot of coconuts up there. Let's go. Let me jump out here. You're ready, huh? Always ready, man. We have meat. We have his. Look at all the dogs, man. This is like a dog farm out here. He's going for these. Clean for reproduction. So, in terms of reproduction, so you cut a few branches, you cut the old ones off, and then it'll just reproduce better. Yeah. Got it, got it. It's almost like banana trees, right? It's when you banana tree, you cut it, and then it'll like keep growing better and better. Almost like hair, right? You shoot a little, little trim, trim, and you're good. Oh man, gotta be careful, this thing's falling. Palm tree, coconut tree is like the source of life, nectar of the gods. It has every type of nutrition for you, like uh, it has electrolytes, it has potassium, everything's in it. Stop, stop. Oh my gosh, he just put two on that, like almost like a, <laughs> like a, a pulley, almost like, Phew! oh my God, oh my God. Look at that, look at that guys, check out all those coconuts. Clear. He clears it. Wow. So what we have to do here, we're helping the neighborhood, right? So we're cutting the tree for them. And we're getting rid of all these excess branches. Basically giving it some new life, right? Almost like hair. Yeah, we're doing this for free. For free. Ready? Wow. Any help with that? So we take this back to the truck, right? Oh, look at this. This is a heavy one. That's good. Then one's here drinking, then one is for baking. For baking? For baking bread. Oh, wow. 
Yeah? Sugar key. That one? Coconut key. What's the difference between those and these? Um, these ones now got the better taste in the water. The good taste in the water. That water is still good, but that water now is more mature water. The taste kind of gone off. Got it. But the use of that now is the meat. Back in the days now, our elder people usually boil it. To okay. The frog, the neck, the oil, and the top. And are those older ones or what are they? Yeah, just. Yeah, the older ones. Older ones. Right. All right. My man here just did his 40 second tree of the day. That's why you're so thin, bro. <laughs> you don't gain weight. My metabolism, man. I know your metabolism is high, dude. I mean, fast. Whoa. Right here is all the coconuts we got. Come back here, my boy. Get a post up. All right. All right, all right. I won't lie, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. My boy here must be super exhausted. Climbing 42 trees today. That's why he's drinking all the coconut water. Oh. Oh, I need a break. All right, so we stopped at one of these side streets to get a beer, some water. Let's go. We're on the break now. We're on a little break, huh? Not I mean, after that hard work, dude, that's the hard labor, dude. All right. Let's do it. What do you want? Banks? Is everybody getting banks or what are they getting? Deputy. Deputy. A deputy. I've got a deputy too. I haven't had a deputy in a minute. Oh, you've been drinking with rum? Oh, dude, rum, and I've been drinking a lot of coconut water. Oh, my God, I'm dying, dude, I'm dying. All you can do is drink your rum. Rum punch. Too much rum punch. Too much. Uh, this, is, this is amazing. This is somebody's house. And they just made like a mini bar. Most houses in Barbados, like um, have like shops attached to them, rum shops. As you can see in here, there's like a variety of snacks, food, beers, anything. So it's like a village shop, pretty much. That's awesome. I like the flags. Thank you so much. Whoa! So it's like a limited edition, huh? For crop over. I guess it's for crop over. Yeah, yeah, yeah wash rears. I want one of them on. Feels good. Um, the deputy. Every chief needs his deputy, right? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Every chief? Every no. Sheriff. sheriff, every sheriff. Every sheriff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into the law. <laughs> oh, it's good on a hot day today. I understand why you guys drink this. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like crispy dude, refreshing. It like brings me back to life right now. It was very hot. Yeah, it's humid. And the wind is blowing nothing so mm. When the rain came, you feel a little bit of breeze, but at the same time, you feel that humidity is hit you. Mm. <sighs> Smoking hot, man. I'm really thinking about buying a place here. This place is amazing. Barbados, Bim, so good. What a great day. You feeling good? Yeah. Safe in the tropics, eh? Dude, that, that, that's, that's brutal work, huh? That's brutal. And I understand why they sell it at the price they sell it, because, oh my God, to get it? It's a task. What's that? It's a day's work, dude. To be honest with you, I can't wait to eat the, the jelly. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, everything we need. Mm -hmm. So it's a four for 10, so it's gonna be like around 20, right? Let's say that. Yeah, I need to know how they not actually two bits of soda. I need to know how they can come yeah, with yeah. soda, so maybe 25, maybe? 25, okay, no problem. Maybe. Yeah, Paul. Um, how much? 20, yeah. 20, 30. Yeah. There you go. Keep the change. Keep it. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. That was nice. Alright. Woo! Whoa. Oh, I'm tired. One beer. I'm like done. Lightweight. <laughs> So right now we're, we're gonna go uh, to a few more trees. It's at least six more, but it really depends on how much, how many people are on it. Oh wow, that one, those have a lot right there. You don't pick those? Yeah, so certain people don't let you cut their trees, of course, because they want it for themselves. But if these guys want, they'll go knock and they'll be like, yo, can we have some of your coconuts? We'll give you some, right? Same thing. Happens in Miami, so Miami, in my home, my parents' home, my parents have like, uh, what is it, three, three palm trees, right? And we have a lot of coconuts. And what happens is people come, they're like, hey, can we cut for you? We'll give you a few. And my dad's like, yeah, always. 
right? And then what they do is they give us like 10, take like 50, and they pack up their van and take it to New York City, Times Square. In Times Square, they'll sell one of these guys, one of these guys for 10 US dollars. 10. But you know what? Fuel, gas, labor, you know, that's what it costs. Are we going to the back one? Or? First batch. Mm -hmm. Clarinet. Clarinet. Yeah. That's a species. Yeah. This guy knows every single type of palm tree. It's incredible. You see, this is a clarinet. It's different. So right now he's adding the rope to it, right? He's latching it on. So he's cutting. Now he's cutting. So, not enough there, right? Hmm? Not enough here? Nah. Why, too heavy, right? It's not heavy, I can't bring it over here. This small amount, that many is gorillas. Oh, shit. That's a little crazy. One of the neighbors is like, hey, you can't do that. You can't do that. And you're like, uh, yeah, we can. This piece is here. It's the stuff for tomorrow. Oh, it's for tomorrow? Yeah. We're not up on the highway today. You don't see how much coconuts done cut out. Done. And still got a lot here for the back. So by the time, you see it just like, I'm ready to start in the morning. Me? Me, me, me? See how the pink boy's cutting. Oh, okay, okay. So it's pink? Yeah. It's a clarinet, right? Yeah. It's green. They have yellow ones also. It's called a clarinet. So it's a pink coconut. So you can see, this is the inner layer. Then we get to the jelly. Then inside there is the water, so it's pink. So you leave these for the owners, right? Yeah. Awesome, so we took like, I think it's only 12, we left three, it's great. And here we go. Actually, I'll take one. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get out of here. You, you want it? Oh, you want to hold it? Hey, hold it. <clears throat> Dude, that dog was not playing. You good, bro? That was an experience. Between uh, just walking up to the house, just saying, uh, where can I have some? Can we leave some for you? Yes. The neighbor's like, no. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, I won't lie. I was scared for a second. That guy, man. He's like. Nah, that was just a joke. Yeah, I'm talking. Okay, okay, okay. That's how we talk here. It's like a slang. You don't really understand it, yeah? I know, I know. When I hear two guys screaming at each other, I'm like, oh, shit. what's happening? We just drove down the street, and here we are, another spot. Stay here. Right here? Stay here. So as you can see, this palm tree is between a few different properties. So we have to stay over here in the bush because we literally have to throw covenants right here because if not get into another property, then we have to like literally jump over. We can't do that. More coconuts. Wow, so many coconuts. Coconuts just keep coming. So now when he's done, he has to take it off, put it back on himself, lower himself, and then they pull it off and we go. Next tree. So how many trees do you do a day? 50 feet deep. It's so sort of an average, right? Yeah. yeah, like Marcus is saying, like they just keep going, hitting trees, hitting trees to see how many they can get. Some trees have very little, some have a lot. I think that this is their livelihood, right? They survive off this, so they have to get as many coconuts as possible. And every day, same thing. Wake up, go, get more. Let's make it to 30. You see some more there? Yeah, I see some more there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another little 12 or so. Make it to 30. Okay. Yeah. 
You tired yet? Not yet. Oh, no, I got tired. I got tired myself. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at those spikes. Just like that, we're back to the highway. You know what? It's time to offload this and drink some coconuts and eat some coconut flesh. You good? I am so good, dude. First time for you, right? First time. 35 years, he's never done this. This is an experience. Marcus, thank you so much. So what they have here is going back on, right? So that, that's for tomorrow. But you know what? Let's get a few. Let's get a few. Let's buy some bottles and uh, some jelly for sure. That's for me, guys. It's for you? One for you, too. Oh, dude, one for me, please, please, please. A good big, a big one. Big boy right there. It's big enough for now. Yeah, be a big one all over, man. Just like that. Oh my, I can't even pick it up. Oh, that was amazing. I guess a little bit of that. No. <laughs> that was like sediment. Thus? Awesome, dude. Awesome. Are you good? Did you finish? Did you finish? I've been drinking for days. <laughs> That's it. So now what they're doing is they're just like literally throwing everything they cut today away. So they offloaded all the good stuff. They're dumping in all the other stuff, all the, all the trash, basically, right? And they're going to take it to a dump. And that's a dump that is given by the government for anybody who's cutting down anything uh, agriculture, right? Wow. So we're getting two jellies. We got the coconut. We got a, a gallon. And they gave us a little discount. So it's 24. 24. So I got 150. What do I got? You have 20? Then I'll, I'll give you that back later. Perfect. And you know what, guys? It's because I've been too generous. All right, so Marcus and my two boys here are so nice. Obviously, I tipped them. And now, some jelly. I'm exhausted, guys. I'm literally exhausted. But this, this heaven. The last one, guys. Heaven, my man. Thank you guys so much. Hey, my man. Hey, buddy. What's your name? I'm sorry. Scott. 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 Scott, buddy. Next Scott. time, yeah. Next time. Wish you guys good luck, right? All the time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Guys, this is coconut culture here with the king of coconuts. The kings, the kings right here. The three guys that can do it. Oh my God, that was intense, guys. That was intense. All the time. Thank you so much, thank you. So guys, now you know, Sundays, Barbados, come here, see Marcus, drink coconuts, buy some of the coconuts from here, like a gallon, right? Also some jelly, you will enjoy it. I love it here. Hey, Bim, Beijing All culture. Right. Thanks, bro, thank you so much. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna eat some more of this. Sunday guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Pebbles Beach, Barbados. This is on the southern coast of the island. Behind me we have Radisson Hotel, 
Hilton Hotel. And over here, as you can see, beautiful crystal clear blue waters, very small beach. But the reason we came here today is because we're going to a famous place to eat Cuz Cutters, which are basically fish sandwiches. The little shack is called Cuz because the guy's name is Cuz. Next to it, they have some rum punch. There's a few other like little sheds or shacks next door. Lots of food, lots of drinking, right? The beach is nice, right? That's what the beach is all about. Right? So Sundays, everybody comes to this beach, right? Every, yep. And what do you do? Every day, really. Every day. Yeah, but Sunday morning, if you get here really early, you can see the various horses and the other horses taking a bath with all the handlers. And... Nice. So I'm guessing you can rent these umbrellas, right? Yes. You can pay that for that. And they also have other things you can rent around here, right? Jet skis, some um, snorkeling, sports. water sports, paddle board, hobby cats, you know. You got the cruising club over there, you can take sailing lessons, all kinds of stuff. So. Nice. Well, we're here for one reason. A fish sandwich, right? Amen. Cutters. 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 Cuts cutters. All right, let's go. We need a rum punch. This morning we had some Trini breakfast and I fell asleep in the car on the way down here. Straight up, that's how tiring it is. I almost fell asleep. It's like a line, huh? Always a line here. Yep, All right, so let's get in here. Therese, right? Yes, please. So Therese, what do we have today? Got rum punch, got pina coladas, mojitos, whiskey, whiskey sours, rum punch, everything. What do you want? I have a rum punch. You want a rum punch? You? Punch is best. Oh, right, yeah, rum punch. <laughs> so you want two rum punch? Yeah, three rum punch, three, three. rum punch, yeah. It's no good. All good? One. Two. The little things you can see in it are spices. So all spices in there? That line keeps getting longer for cuz, huh? Okay, sure. rum punch, let's do it. I use this just to stir. That's just to stir, right? Yeah. Not to actually drink. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. So how much was it each? Ten? Yeah. So ten each, so it's like five US dollars each. I think it's a good deal. Cheers. Oh, that's tasty. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. Like the bitters. It's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous. You don't know how much alcohol is in here. If you have too many of these the next day, you wake up with a headache. I'm bad. I know from experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so refreshing, huh? Yeah. Uh, how did you today? It's exactly what we needed, though. Yeah, that's the best part about being here in the beach in Barbados, right? You have some rum punch, you chill at the beach, you have a fish sandwich, chill again. I mean, that's what you do, right? Yeah, pretty much all Lazy day long, buddy. All day long. It's amazing how there was like literally a thunderstorm, and now look at that. Blue skies. It's so Blue true. skies. It's amazing. Hand sanitizer. Read my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very nice. So how long have you been here? So good. Four years. Four years. Nice. And if we want a bottle, we could just come here and buy a bottle. It's just... Oh, yeah? Oh, you sell bottles? Oh, nice. And what does a bottle cost? Um, the one you can get is like 15. Alright, so each glass of rum punch is uh, 10, right? So, 20. It's good stuff. Tasty. Great stuff, not good stuff. Oh, oh. Oh, great. sorry, great stuff, not good great. stuff. Not good. Great. <laughs> How long you been that line for? Oh, just about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It's just it gets longer and longer. It is gonna be worth it. Luckily for us, you literally have the bar right next door, so you just weigh in line with a rum punch and you're chilling, right? Yeah. And this cousin, and unfortunately his uh he's not here, but his sister is, right? Yeah. Here we have the menu, so you have fish cutters and you have a double, double fish cutter. cutter. Fish and cheese, cheese cutter. And that's basically because everything else is blocked off, right? Yeah. Okay. Hi, good day. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Okay? We're very good, we're good, we're ready. So, three fish cutters. And with cheese on top. You all want cheese? No, I'm good. No cheese. No cheese. And here we go. I'm sorry, what's your name? Claudia Marie. Claudia Marie, and your cousin's uh, sister. sister. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Cook to order, huh? Hey, you ready for this one? Yes. So we got some bread here. What we use for the cutter is a fish sandwich. Yes, these are cheese cutters. All right, so that's the fish. He's breading the fish. Go straight into the fryer. So this is, uh, what type of fish? Marlin. Marlin. Marlin, nice. Well, now you guys, I am baking in here. So hot. Yeah. It's hot outside. It's hot as anything. It's boiling in here. Yeah. Easily 100 degrees right now. I'm like, 
just dripping. <laughs> oh, it's really tight in here, a little hot. Yeah. So right now she's cutting up the bun, right? And then she's gonna get one of these, uh, and you already have it cooked, the fish? I have the fish here. Oh, you already have it cooked, okay, okay so you have it nice. So it's basically a fish. Oh, wow, Salt nice. Tomato. Tomato. And that's it? Yes. How much do I owe you? $36. Thirty six dollars, okay. All right, so that's thirty-six dollars. So it was uh, basically a twelve each. Uh, so what is that? Like six U.S. dollars each. All right, right. Boiling in here. How long are you in here? All day? Yeah. Until you sell out? Is that sort of how it is? I'm uh, pouring for you, but don't worry about the dollar. Don't worry about the dollar. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate right, it. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh wow. There we go. Yummy. Cuts cutters. Right in the middle. I guess get some tartar. Yeah. 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 Perfect. All right, the famous cuz cutter. All right, ready for the big bite? Yep. Let's do it. Good news. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love the Martin. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So good, nice bun. A little refreshing with tomato, nice burst. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. This bun is a local bun called salt bread. Salt bread. Salt bread, yeah. It's a Bajan bread. Oh, Trinidad has a hot bread. Salt bread is Bajan. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> yeah, the Trinidadians will always say that. Mm hmm. Mm. It's in the street food. Mm -hmm. It's one of the tastiest ones we've had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fish is very seasoned. It's amazing. Mm. So, Cuz is a staple here on the island, right? Sure. So you have to visit Cuz. I think Rihanna put it in something she wrote. Sure. Mm. So good, right? Right, it's soft and chewy. Rihanna didn't write it, somebody interviewed her. Uh -huh about the spots that she recommends in Barbados. I think this is one of them. Yep. Anyone with a Bajan passport will recommend cuz. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of a fish sandwich, it's huge. Yeah. Big amount of marlin, right? Proper portion. Proper. <laughs> it's true. Well done. And it's still soft and tender because marlin has a tendency to get super hard and rubbery, as you know. Mm -hmm. It's so nice and soft. I mean, it's one of the biggest fillets. Yeah. Like, it's nice and thick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got sauce? Yeah. I got the vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. The salad vinaigrette. Nice. It tastes yummy. Well, I ate that pretty fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't even imagine what a double would be like, no? Mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. double? Yeah, they do double fish. Mm -hmm. A double fish butter. That's huge. Mm. If you're really hungry, I guess get that. Yeah. I wasn't so hungry. Yeah. I mean, next door you have this spot, right? Charisse's? Charisse? Charisse's, yeah. Mmm. This is the perfect thing to have on the beach. Some rum. Fish sandwich. Relax. Yep. Big in the sun. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. That's it for Pebbles Beach. Cuz Cutter. Charisse's. Amazing. Delicious sandwich. Incredible rum punch. Now I'm leaving the day open-ended. We have no idea what we're doing. It's Sunday, it's chill day. Let's see what we find. Let's go. And here we are at the airport. You know, we just went on a three hour experience. Coconut adventures here in Barbados. We saw the whole process, how they, the coconut guys get the coconuts from the trees. They go to 45, 50 coconut uh, or palm trees every single day. They pull them down. They sell, they repeat every day, and that was experience. Wow, my man, that was amazing. Thank you for me to happen. Thank you, thank you. I gotta show you by real estate, right? I know, I know, dude. The real way. Yeah. And now we're waiting for a flight to get in. This is one of the things you have to do when you come to Barbados. Get right in front of the airport. Look at that. It's also a Sunday tradition. Sunday tradition. Yeah, amazing. And look at the moon above us. Wow. We did it, we did it, we did it. Did it, bro? We saw the planes. Only two planes, but it's got good. So we're. Where are we going? Where are we going? Dinner? For food. Food? Food and drinks. Oh. All right, let's go, let's go. Sure? Yeah, yeah. All right. So we came here to some beach bar to have some dinner. 
some drinks. We're ending off the trip with a high note. We're going this way, right? So it literally is a tiki bar, right? Yeah. <laughs> literally a tiki bar. It's got the tiki bar. And all those things up there. Uh -huh. It's just cocktails. That whole thing going over there. The whole thing's cocktails? Wow. Love it though. And right here we have the water. Yeah. South Coast. It's out for beach. Another pop for the beach. Oh, dude. I think I might go with some Bujo. I want to go Bajan. <laughs> what are you going to get? Some fresh catch? Oh, they have a lot more. Okay. Catch of the day, remember? Catch of the day. Catch of the day. Every time, catch of the day. Every time, catch of the day. This is their rum punch. It's a tall one. It's like the tallest I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah. Is it good? It's very good. It's potent. Yeah. Go easy on this one. <laughs> nah, dude, this island's amazing. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 To Barbados, my last yeah. night. Welcome to being a beach, you know. Love this place. All right, then we're ready. Yes, four and a Do you have any cat sandwich as well? Cat sandwich as well, yeah. So, so we got uh, two catch sandwiches, and that's uh, the snapper, right? Yep. So red snapper. Red snapper, buddy. Which in Spanish is pargo. Mm -hmm. Pargo. Pargo. Fargo. Fargo. What'd you get? I'm getting a Caesar salad with the same catch. Okay. Caesar salad, huh? Yeah. No you know, bread. No Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the pizza we love. <laughs> hey, pizza, cheers, pizza. cheers, guys, cheers, cheers. Catch of the day, snapper. Yep. All right, here we go. Pepper sauce. Pepper sauce, of course. <laughs> Is it spicy? I don't know, we'll see. All right, guys, that's it. Red snapper, this is the last supper in Barbados. <laughs> Let's never say never. So, oh, did they put a lime in here? Yeah, I'm literally about to bite into a lime. <laughs> All right. Have you? <laughs> Cheers. Tiki bar, red snapper, sandwich. Cut a. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Delicious sandwich. Oh. I love, love the pepper. Not too spicy this one. Let it roll through. Barbados, great vibes. I'll tell you, talk about the people, you know? The people. Thank you, bro. And that's it, right? That's all she wrote. We did Cuz Cutter, Pebble Beach. We did uh, our friend there. What's her name with, with the little rum punch? Teresa's. 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 They went an epic, epic, literally a documentary about how coconuts are cut down and sold on the street. Definitely have to do that when you come here. Go watch them do it. It's going to be a little tricky. My boy will hook you up. <laughs> hook me up. I got you. And after that, we came here. We're having a sandwich, relaxing by the beach. Look at that. Reggae. Drinks. Drinks. Food. And uh, the waves, right? Good company, good vibes, my friend. Dude, I'm exhausted. <laughs> and then the sun wore me out. <laughs> Spicy. Who can do pepper like me, huh? <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Cayenne pepper. <laughs> worry, chili. Worry, worry. No. That's, the, that's the guy who needs one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's intense. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below. And definitely come out to Barbados, West Indies. Love you, man. Love, Love you. you too, man. Love you, man.